All right, let's um, let's let's jump on in, shall we? Blah, 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 blah. Hello. Um, I think I don't just enter world. Oh, that's right. I saw this. You get to choose which town you start at. No, I never want to go to Valentine. Good old roads. Probably Saint Denis because it's the idea is I and this is my I do this all the fucking time. It's like, oh, a character goes away for a while. Oh, they've gone up the coast or they've gone overseas. So this character has come from England, um, and I actually I actually looked up to see like any steamship routes around this time, like in se this around this date in September in like 1903. And there was one from Liverpool to Boston. So I was like, that's the one. He came over on a boat from, um, he, he got on a train from London to Liverpool and then Liverpool to Boston and then Boston down to um, what they call Saints Crossing on, on this server, uh, which is like a, fic the, a fictional version of the, the Wild West. Um, so we'll probably go, we'll probably go St. Denis just because that makes sense. Like that's the, the main East port. So, oh, you just start at Sisiga. So yeah, we're going to start at St. Denis just because it would make sense. I think. Um, yes. Hopefully my game doesn't crash. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think it's working. Okay, frames look good. Everything's loaded. Controls are working. Oh, it's... Oop. Push to talk wasn't on. Oh God. All right, I fixed it. Push to talk wasn't on. Cause on this server, you gotta make sure you don't break character and, and that like there's a, it's sort of like there's a bar. So that's, I'm glad I caught that early. So let's just test now. Hello. Okay. The little mic went red and then it's, uh, what is to change the, um, the volume it is um oh, i wrote this down i wrote it down it's uh it's j okay let's just oh yep so yeah uh like far whisper talk shout and that yep okay oh god i feel like a scrub because i haven't i haven't played in like a month or two and then it's like what's going to be different um uh uh i'm <laughs> like Okay, so I is to point, right? Maybe I should go somewhere private. Maybe I should go somewhere off the, um, like out of the way, just to, just to test things. <laughs> Hello, witchy. I feel like a noob. What am I doing? Oh, I feel like a scrub. Um, okay, Kate. Oh. I want to try some of the controls, but I like I'm like out in the middle of Saint Denis, which is probably which is probably <laughs> you pointing at me. It's probably not the best place to test these things. I should probably it'd be great if I could find some players. Be like, you know, I'm new to town. Yeah, I'm new, well, I'm new to the country, and then they will get the hint and be like, yes, well, let's show you a few things. Probably uh, that would be really nice. New sir, hello. Where would the people be? Um, that's the thing. That's what I said before. Like we might, we might not come. We might not find anyone. Um, I don't know. Like I see. Like sometimes I tune into Hexdef's stream, and uh, I feel like nine times out of ten, you'll see her and a, and a large group of people at the uh, uh, the ranch where John Marston lives at the end of two and uh, in Red Dead One, uh, out near Blackwater. But my character doesn't know that. Like, I know a lot of players congregate there. Um, I don't... And then I've only, like... I've only lurked a bit in other streams. So I just... I don't know 
what's up. Not that I would use that in game anyway, but it's like, like I don't know. Like, I guess, like naturally, you know, you go to, um, you know, like the local, um, you know, town centers, you know, like the, you got the, the main street here, you've got the bank and whatnot. So you'd check there, just in case you run across anyone. That's right, which I have to do. I have to do some ruddy acting. You do, do a bit of improv. And hope for the best. Um, I just feel like a scrub, because yeah, I've never, I've never played on this one before. Um, what's your inventory? Is it tab? Oh. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Um, X is the emote wheel as well, which is, oh, you can set favorites. That's cool. So you can do, you can bring up the, um, oh, you got to hold it down. Okay. Oh. Huh? Do I have to set them? I don't understand. Oh. Oh, is this like a, it's like a hot bar? Like you, you put them here, like let's say, um, uh, 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 let's go walk styles. Oh, I feel like a scrub. Uh, let's go say casual. Oh, can I hear a horse? That's a person. They didn't stop. Gosh darn it. Come back. Oh. Good evening. I guess they don't want to be disturbed. Uh, I think you hold down alt to do. Oh, yes. Right. Oh. Right. Uh-huh. So I've got my satchel. Well, did- maybe they- did they say something but I didn't hear it? Well, they're not very talkative. <laughs> uh... Yeah. I feel like a scrub. Yeah, it's gotta be that. It's gotta be that. Maybe they're in a rush. Maybe they're maybe they're in a rush, you know? Maybe they've got they've got places to be. Um if they really, if they were really going to chat, like, surely they would have, like, actually, like, come and st stood facing me, so I don't know. Um, uh, let's just see. How do I open my satchel? Um. And then, as well. Right. So that's that. Um. Uh-huh. Well, you got a tag uh, toggle item satchel. Okay, it's B for the satchel. So I've got $83. All right. Um, I'm assuming... I'm assuming there's like health and hydration. Because what, yeah, you got the little apple symbol down there. You got the water drop. Um, surely. So does that mean, so in St. Denis, that could be one of few places. Um, someone, is there could be a store here at the, uh, what's the official name of this venue? <clears throat> I can't even remember. I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the game seems to be running fine so far. Um, on my modest graphic settings. 
Do 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 do. Um, I'm assuming. Oh, what do we got here? Read note. Welcome to the heart of St. Denis. Here, you can find good food, drinks, an occasional poker game, and warm smiles. You will sometimes hear amazing musicians here as well. We invite you to come in and stay a while. We are open most days from 7.30 p.m. to about 10.30 p.m., sometimes earlier if one of our amazing bartenders are around. Enjoy your time. Planning an event for a large group or a special evening for you and your special someone? We will provide the food and drinks for you, as well as one of two venues. Please inquire within or by telegrams, and let's talk about your personalized menu. What time zone is that? What time zone is that? Uh, eat the nuts. We'll take the nuts. Oh, yeah. So I use the mouse wheel to go through the options. Um, where do you access the... Is it just nuts? Where is the... Sorry, I can sit. Yeah, I can read the note. Or do you have to actually speak to someone? There might not be like a like a static um, vendor there, if that makes sense. Um, does the map give me any clues? Yeah, it's the saloon. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, rooms for rent, bank. Yep, 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 yep. As you'd expect. Might be some stuff there. Music shop. Furniture shop. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff you can do with furniture and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's a lot. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty... As to be expected. Um... We head down to the general store. Might find someone there. Or at least have a suss out of, like, how much food and whatnot is. Uh, and of course, I'll do that and then I should probably deposit some money. Um, and then I did read as well, um, just to, like, to get the ball rolling with, um, inquiring to get training for a job, like driving the trains. But that's also, I think you, you become a, a transit, uh a transit officer or something like that so it's boats and trains um they did sort of give a hint like you know if you can't find someone you can role play this sort of set of actions to get the ball rolling so um i will try and fit that in with um with tonight's little tech test so that i can get a telegram away to the person in charge of that so then hopefully i can do the actual um the training for that um, this Saturday or another weekend or something. So fingers crossed, because then that's will be the bread and butter of this character. Just to just to make it nice and easy. That's right, Witchy. I'm gonna be all about the trains. The train life chose me. Um, I thought uh, definitely not getting back into this sort of thing with like a lore character or something. Because that can be a bit much. Uh, I thought, let's just play a silly character. Um, that, uh... Just wants to be a train driver. Like, that would be nice and relaxing. Could be interesting as well, because then that would open it up so that criminals could rob the train. You know, other people ride the train. It's a great way to meet other characters. So I figured that's a nice way to get back into it. It would be nice to find some cat players. Is that that guy again? Or is that an NPC? I can't tell. I, just, I, would, I want to make sure that my audio is working. Alright, let's see what we got here. Aha! Uh huh. Chicken feed. My God, you can get chickens. Chickens on the farm. Oh yeah, a water canteen. So you can have it on the go. 
Animal glue. Wonder where all the missing horses are. <laughs> uh, banjo. Instructions unclear. Spent all my starting money. That sounds like a horse going at a player's pace. No! I don't know where they went. They went by. Oh dear. Not having not having any luck finding anyone yet. Oh dear. It's, I, I'm assuming the water. You want to get the water canteen sooner rather than later. Uh... <laughs> oh, whoops! I bought. I spent it all on cigars. Do 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 do. Hip flask. No, oh, no, not the beans. No. Ah, oh. got to get that eventually. But I better be careful with the money to begin with. Um, no, the tongs, Lord of the tongs. Um, but I'm assuming. I'm assuming you want this first. And then you just fill it up in the river, I'm assuming? I hope so. Oh, you can do it four times. Uh, use it four times. Okay. Um, And then I should probably get... Then it's like, how? what, what food... What's the best cheap food to get? It would be the bread roll. So that's 10 cents... 10 cents a piece. What do I... It's alphabetical. I was like, where's apple? It's alphabetical, mate. Maybe some apples. Because it, if it's like... If it's like Diablo RP, it will get you... It will be food and hydration. Um, how many of those can you carry? Maybe there's not a limit on how many you can carry. So let's maybe grab... Have 10? I, oh, stacks of 5. Okay. I don't know how I don't know how, how quickly you get hungry and thirsty in this. I have no idea. Um I should probably go easy on the rest. Um Then also probably like if this is just like just some guy that's come over from London. Like I don't know if he would exactly be like racing out to buy a gun. On, partner. But it's also like coming from there. Like, he wouldn't, would he, he's never owned a horse before, so, like, would he ra race out to get a horse? Like, I don't really feel like he would get a gun or a horse until people sort of said, well, yeah, it's, it's the best way to get around these parts, and you need a gun for protection. So I feel like I'm going to hold off on stuff like that as long as I can, but then I'm thinking, how am I, getting, how am I going to get around quickly? So I don't want to just go, you know, knocking someone off a, off a wagon. Because it's not in his character. All his decisions. Um, that person looked like they were doing a, um, ah, yes, figured so. There is a job board, so maybe we can just do like some deliveries or something and use the, uh, that as an excuse to get around. Um, but before I do that, I should probably deposit what money I do have um, because I do believe on this server. Good morning to you, mister. Uh, let's say you go out and you get mauled by animals and a doctor doesn't save you. I believe you lose everything in your pockets. Um, because there is a real extra emphasis on valuing one's own life. Although, I don't know about you, but I don't want to lose these precious 
apples in this empty water canteen. I'm assuming I pop it in a river and I fill it up there. I'm assuming I do that. Or I find, um... Um... It's not a hose. It's not a tap. Now, you either... We get the water out of the ground. I don't know what you call it. The water thing. The supplier of water. Hello. Oh. Can you search the bins? You can, you can look inside. You must be closer to that. How close do you want me to get, mate? Good morning. Nothing. Worst dumpster dive ever. All right. Uh... Oh, I'll keep 10 on me just, just in case, just in case I need to treat myself out on the road. Are they NPCs or players? I don't know. Person. I think that's in it. Surely that's an NPC. All right, let's go check the job board. See what we can do to get started. And hopefully it takes me on a path that crosses um, one of two locations to get this telegram away to hopefully get uh, the chance to do some training to be a train driver. Unfortunately, if I head out, I immediately get robbed or something. You're like, well, you, all I've got is just got ten dollars on me, friend. I think it was this one. Yo, Hammer, how you doing, mate? Uh, was it here? I think it's inside. Here? Ah, uh, saloon cocktails. Why? Deliver ten saints sinners to the vessels. But then, like, does it supply? Like, is this like delivery jobs? Like, let's say I get this one. So, something so that was nice. Deliver 10 Saint Sinners to the Bastille in Saint Denis. Like, will the, the, but does it supply me? Like, is it like you get a wagon and you gotta deliver stuff? That's what I'm nervous about. Or do I have to like go and purchase that stuff to then deliver? Oh, but I'm not gonna know unless I try it. One bottle of woody perfumed Tony Del Ranch. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is that? Boat rent. So you can rent boats. I don't know. Where is there like just? 
jobs you can do. Freight depot. There's got to be something to do with the train job, though, right? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I just... Maybe I just select it and hope for the best. Just... Gotta figure it out. Wait. What have we got here? Uh... Oh, yes, that's for the newspaper. Looks like there's other things as well. Oh. Cookbook needed. I'm looking for someone who can teach me how to cook and make liquor. I'm also interested in purchasing a cookbook. The recipe is... In. Okay, so it's like actually... Like stuff for players. Oh, there's a few. I didn't even notice all the other notes. Dolly's Delights. There's a few of them. Despite great odds, the search for honor continues. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, so they've put up a few, so you, it is cool if you take one, because then there's more anyway. I need a job! <laughs> I need a job! I don't want to buy it, so I got nothing to sell. I need a job. Are you in the market for sprucing up your look with an artistically designed firearm? No, I don't have the, I don't have the money. I don't even have a gun. No, I don't have the... I need a job. Private investigator. Oh. No, I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh, I reckon we'll just... Uh... Look, maybe this one? Because, like, even if, if I can't do it... At least it's local, like deliver 10 Saint Sinners to the Bastille in Saint Denis. Uh, I just don't know. Maybe, or maybe. Bring one bottle of Woody perfume to Comedy Del Ranch. Because then if, if it is like you have to actually go and get the item to then, to then take it there, then it's just one thing. Oh. Hold tab to view current objectives for the accepted job. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, uh. But then how would I get there? Oh no! I just missed another player. No! I need to ask for help. Oh dear. Oh dear, what have I got myself into? Um... <laughs> Woody scented. Do I go get that from the general store? Is that the general store? Where do I get that from? What is this? What's this? What's this? What are you? New. Need a reporter? No, I need. I need. I need help finding this perfume or something. Maybe I should have done the Saint Denis one. Oh dear. I uh, might be in a pickle.
Oh dear. I don't recall... What am I looking for again? Woody scented perfume. Partner. Howdy! Would that just be here? But then how much would it be? I don't think I saw anything over like 20 bucks. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. Is it here? What is it? Woody scented. It'd be under W if it is here. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Where would I find that? Where would that be? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Would that be... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. I didn't see anything there. Maybe at the barber? Maybe at the tailor? Where else would it be? Or is it like you buy it from a player? I don't know. Oh, I'm a little scared. I am. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Yo, game train. Uh, this is a new, um, this is a new, well, actually, no, it's an old uh, Nintendo 64 game. Uh, uh, yeah, Yeehaw. It's a cowboy game. Uh, a cowboy puzzle game. <laughs> there you go, man. Yo, TJ, how you doing? Uh, I am trying a new server in Red Dead Redemption 2 roleplay for the first time, and uh, uh, I'm going in pretty blind. Apart from the apart from the basics, I'm going in pretty blind. Um, uh, I keep missing human players, human players. Um, so I haven't been able to run into one to you know start meeting you know meeting other players. So then hopefully they might be kind enough to uh, give me some some guidance to bestow upon me some wisdom. Um, the one person that I was close to, they didn't seem interested in stopping to chat. And uh, the other ones, <laughs> I kept missing because I was either in a building or I was in a menu or something. Um, so I'm a little worried. And then I checked the job Hello board. There. And I'm not entirely sure how the job boards work in this. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be, you know, like, it's a delivery job. And it is, in a sense, but it's not just like, here's a, you know, here's a wagon. Just take it from point A to B. This one's like, oh, you got to find, you got to get this item. And you need to um, take it somewhere. And I was like, okay. But now I'm like, I don't know where, I don't, I don't know where you get the thing. So, um, I'm trying to put my roleplay hat on and, um, try and figure it out. I've checked the general store and I cannot find any, uh, woody scented perfume. So, uh, I'm going to check the barber. Like maybe they sell stuff like that. They can use the barbie. Is there like a, a storefront kind of thing? No. It's just just to get a haircut. Oh dear. Like maybe at the tailor. I don't know. Where else would it be? Or is like the map telling me to go somewhere, which I, I've completely missed. Like, is there like a, um, uh, oh, oh, it's telling me where to go. I didn't even, okay. There's a marker. There's a literal marker. There's a stall there trying to smell nice. Oh my God. Okay. The map does tell you where to go. All right. That's right. We're learning. Um, 
Oh! How am I going to get there? That's the next thing. How am I going to get there? Uh... Like, is that... What's the wheel? What's the wheel? Is that, like, is it, um... Um... Like, can you hire a wagon? Or do you just have to... Like, how much... I guess we'll have to see... I guess we'll just have to see... How much, um... Horses and wagons in that cost. Like, I guess, you know, because the character I've got it, I've sort of come up with the idea that he's he's from London, um, and he's, his dream is to become a train driver. Um, then I figured, okay, so he, he uh, he's worked in other things, you know, odd jobs, but mainly as like a, like at the time, a, a single horse uh, cab driver, which is like, a, like a, a wagon. And I actually, I've been doing, I was doing some Googling to find out like what exactly sort of, like what was what was kind of like a thing like a taxi around then, um, and then yeah the slow one was like a, a, a one horse. What they what was it named the Grumbler or something? I was like okay, um, that's that fits the character because it's a bit silly. Um, but I guess you know like you stepped off the boat here. I'm assuming you could assume that he's heard about. What? Plus three dollars? Do I get like pocket money? Just over time? Just so they're like, look. You failed to do one. <laughs> you have failed to do one mission. <laughs> here's some pocket money just so you can... Here's... Hey buddy, here's an apple. You know, go... Keep trying. <laughs> Don't starve out there, little buddy. <laughs> Here's a... I still gotta find a river or something. Maybe there'll be someone at the sheriff's office. Be like, please, help! I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't even left St. Denis yet. Bum, 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 bum. Jolly good! Uh, I always like, I always second guess where the stable is in St. Denis. I'm always like, I always think it's like further over that way, but it's straight down here. You'd think I would know by now. I'm like, I don't know. I've forgotten. No notice there. Hello? I would like to register. I'd like to register a complaint. No notices here. Maybe there'll be like a really cheap horse or a... But this character, like he'd be more inclined to get a... Like a cheap wagon or carriage or something, rather than a horse, because it's not like he's a cowboy. Like he's just he's a he's been living in London for X amount of years, just working in the city. So it's not like he's gonna race and be like, I'm a cowboy now. Like he's gonna he's gonna get what feels familiar, which is like like yeah, wagon at the very least. He's just a simple man, and dreams of being a train driver. Humble beginnings. Hopefully. Hopefully there's something cheap. Because, uh... The only other alternative... Is running there. But... I don't think a guy like this... Would exactly be, uh... Jumping at the idea... Of running across a country. Let alone a country... He's never been to before. So let's investigate... Please be something cheap. 
I probably won't have enough money on me right now, though. Alright, what do we got? Uh, just horses? 100, 360, 500, 100. So I started with like 80 something dollars. So I can't, I can't even afford that. Is there one for like $50? 700, 40! Kentucky Sadler for $40. Okay. We could go with that. 840, 40. The Morgan, Mustang. So there's two for $40. Three for $40. One All right. Okay. So I need to come back with 40 bucks. Shame I can't get a... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go... I'll go see... Surely that, that... Is that a... Surely that's like a, a wagon. Something to do with wagons. Surely. See, I just feel like he would be more inclined to get a wagon than, um, a horse. We'll pop on down, have a look, just so we know. But if there's nothing there, I'll see what the average price is. And if there's nothing there, then I will settle for a horse. Just so we can do these, um... These, uh, these jobs. Uh, I have... I think I have $12 on me, and then I have $50 in the bank. Uh, because I spent $20 on, um... I might end up regretting this. I spent 20 something dollars on a water canteen. But now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have gotten that. Maybe you just, you know, drink out of the river for a while till they make more money. Is this a. Is it a. a I don't know what they, Is this where you come get a wagon? Is this where you get mugged? Hello? <laughs> Is this the Wagonatorium? Oh, no. Gotta go, gotta go around. I don't know what I'm doing. Why does the map keep going up there? Alright. Alright, what do we got here? Aha! Ah, uh, something in my eye. Aha, it is a wagon shop. Uh, how much is the average buggy? 750. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be one for cheap, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Um... Goodness gracious. 4,000. What's the cheapest? Where's like a, a little one? 3,900. 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000. Goodness. Yeah. Okay, we are not, um... We are... Oh, you can rent one. You can rent one. How long do you rent it for? $20. How long do you rent it for? Like during, for the whole session or like a day? Is it like $20 a day? Hmm. 75. Oh. Like I could rent one. Because then if I just do these, um, these job boards, then I can keep, you know, I'll still make a profit. Would that be like a, da a per day? But then one way or the other. So it's either $20 to rent a wagon. Or $40 to buy a cheap horse.
Hmm. <laughs> Go find the biggest, baddest guy on the server. Go shoot him in the face. Make a name for yourself. Just, just no. Just no. No character development or, or anything. Just be like, yep. Just, just. I'm a simple a guy from London. Want to become a train driver in the new world? Yeah, you're just going to go shoot a guy in the face, eh? Hey? That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Game Train? That's... Let's do it. No, I'm joking. Let's just go shoot someone in the face. What's your, uh... What's your character's motivation? Uh... Uh, he's a dickhead. Oh, okay. Cool. Sounds good. Andiamo. Even on Diablo RP, I'm a firm believer in walking everywhere as much as possible. Because I don't know about you, but when I walk downtown and I go grocery shopping and whatnot, I don't see people sprinting everywhere. So I'm going to hold on to that belief. Probably driving some people mad. They're like, just run there! And I'll be like, but why would just some guy run? Run around randomly. So I'm going to commit. And I've always been that since, since day one on Diablo. I was all about walking around and only running when it would make Hello, sense. Sir. I'm a firm believer in that. And I'm going to stick by that. It's very painful, but we were walking back to the bank. By golly. <laughs> just, yeah, I just... Sprint shopping. Like, yeah, you go to the mall and you're like... <laughs> And it's just, yeah, when I would think about, you know, like, how I approach RP, I was like, well, I've always been, like, ever since I started trying it on Diablo, I was always like, even just little things like that. I was like, I just, I want to do little things like that. Um, so I just feel like this might be the kind of server where most players think like that as well. So that's, that's another reason why I wanted to give it a go. Because, like, yeah, it's frustrating. Like, I'd love to just sprint there and sprint back. But it's like I could, um, I could come across another player at any time. And in a way, I feel like it would almost uh, kill their immersion a bit. Like, it's like, be like, well, why are you running? Oh, I'm just going to get out some money from the bank coming get away. It's like, is it a matter of life and death in that? Like, is there a need to be running? It's like, no, it's like, it's like, that's like the foundation. Um. Oh. Like, I just feel like. I feel like the, you know, to be really successful at it and to really provide, I guess, the best, the best performance you can. Like, it's, it's everything. It's, 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 um, how you, like, what you say. Oh, no. There's another player. Can't. Maybe I should just yell out next time and be like, hello! Yeah, it's, 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 it's everything. It's, it's what you say. It's how you say it. It's the emotes you choose to do. It's even like, oh, I think it's an NPC. And it's even like down to like little things. Like, like just trying to be how do you? as immersive as possible. Because it's not just for you. It's for the other players as well. So I just, I'm weird like that. Yeah, essentially, you yeah, keep it realistic. 
And yeah, that's right, Hammett. Like, I've heard... Because, yeah, I had to apply for the server. There was a written application and other stuff. Um, just because it's... There's a, there's a bar set. And it's for the overall... Player base. Um, just to make it as good as possible. And I respect that. Oh, dude, I... Like, some people have been like, yeah, man, you should give it a go. You, like, you'd really fit in there. Like, it's right up your alley in that. And I'm like, I, I don't think I'm anywhere n near as good as players like Vert. Like, I've watched, like, I mainly lurk on his channel, but I've watched some things. And I'm like, god damn, like, the voice is amazing. And then it's just the stories he comes up with and everything. I'm like, damn, man, like, I'm very... Like, a, whole, a big reason why I started on as law and focused on law on Diablo was... And I told my friends in that. And I was like, it's so I can mainly react to things. Like, I don't have to go setting up scenes. It's me reacting to, you know, what is the citizens doing? What are the criminals doing? What are the other lawmen doing? Uh, I just got to respond, react to things. Uh, but he's, like, like players like that, like, they... They, like, lead the way with all that. Like, I'm just, I don't know, I just don't know if I'm that creative. I don't know if I'm going to have ideas like that. Um, so I'm really hoping I can just find, like, yeah, get the, um, get the train driver job as this character to just, you know, test out the server, see how I find it, and then hope that, you know, interacting with the other, uh, transit stuff is fun, and then... Hopefully, people actually ride the train and, and you know, want to have a chat. And, you know, criminals want to rob the train and, and stuff like that. So, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, but like I mentioned at the start of the stream, tonight is really kind of like a tech test, like a trial, like me getting back into it. Um, the, I might go the entire this entire session without actually talking to anyone else. Um, that could happen. Um, but then... I will try again on Saturday during the day because that's when, like, the server's almost full and there's people everywhere. So, um, today's just getting, uh, tonight's just getting, you know, getting the ball rolling and then Saturday I'll try again and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, all right, I'm going to try and keep with character. Going to rent a wagon and we're going to see, we're going to go the cheapest one because I'm just going to be doing these job board stuff. Um, now I just don't know. Is this for... Wayne has been successfully rented. Rental will expire on... So tomorrow... Oh, so 24 hours real time. Oh, okay. So it's 24 hours real time. Oh, that's alright. So yeah, I, I'll just, um... Make sure I make some money. Because this, this fits the character more. Because the idea is that he, um, he would drive, he would, um, drive wagons and carriages and stuff around London before coming here. So, I, I just feel like, unless, until someone, you know, teaches him how to ride a horse, he's going to use wagons. That's how I'm approaching it. Train again. Here's an idea. Find the biggest, baddest guy on the server and go shoot him in the face. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't even have a gun. Like this, like again, this is just some guy that has been working in London for most of his life. I don't have a knife. I don't have a gun. Like I'm, ta I'm, I'm taking it to. I'm gonna try and take this to the next level, where. Like, until someone's like, yo, what? You should really have a knife or a gun to defend yourself. Like, you don't know what's out there. And if something bad happens, well, then something bad happens. Too bad. But I'm trying to commit to the character. Now, I've set a marker. Does this one... Will they automatically go along with the route and cinematic camera? Yes. 
Excellent. Oh, good point, TJ. Yeah, definitely. Um, the first clean-looking river. Um, I'll see if I can um, fill up the canteen. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that game train is going to go fine. The biggest, toughest guy on the server. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> Don't even have a gun, mate. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. But I'm glad that the, the map tells you where we have to go for this mission. We have to go up and get uh, some perfume. And then we've got to deliver it somewhere. We'll start making some money. And hopefully we run into some people. So we got to camp here. I would. I don't know if this is the river I want to fill a canteen up in. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. You got it. Top three, you've got to pay the toll. What if I don't want to pay the bloody toll? Well, no one's ever said no. And they're thinking ahead. <laughs> Nearly crashed. I was like, am I going to already crash into that? Uh, the plan is that if after a few weeks or whatever, I'm enjoying the server, um, I will consider making uh, a lore character. I don't know if I'd remake Hughes or if I'd create a, a, new, a new thing. I don't know. Um, or I'm also, because I saw they have... Um, uh, park rangers who look after like the forests and stuff and it's like like say someone goes missing and gets attacked by a bear or whatever like say someone goes to the law department like hey my friend you know they they've been out hunting but they haven't come back like i think they might be lost in the woods or something's happened to them the law department or they'll go to a um they'll actually go find a park ranger and they'll role play out role play out like oh you know we've got a We've got to set out on an expedition as a group to go out and find them and search the area and all this. Like, it's a whole, like, operation just to find someone out in the wilderness. So I'm like, that's cool. So I uh, maybe maybe I'd make a park ranger. I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> Yo, hug. I rented it. You can rent out wagons. And then it seems they last for 24 hours real time. Uh, it cost me $20 for the day. Um, and I'm doing a... Uh, a mission from a job board, which I think it will pay me ninety or a hundred dollars, so that will cover the rent, and then I make a bit of a, a bit of a profit, eh? Make a bit of a make a bit of a bloody make a bit of a bloody profit, mate. Getting it done. Here you go, mate. Saint, thanks for the work. Appreciate it. Is this where I want to turn off? No. I should be careful. Like, like whenever I'm like, oh, what's that over there? What's that over there? And then like, plonk, I hit something. Well, it's happening, Hagelan. It's happening right now. You're here for the, the first session. I haven't... I tried talking to someone, but I don't know. I, they, I, they either didn't hear me or they weren't interested in something to talk. I haven't spoken to anyone yet. I might not talk to anyone tonight. You're here for the, the, the first session, Steve. 
you were here. With Albert Groves at your service here to dream of becoming a train driver. Plague! Please, no, I don't want COVID again. I had COVID once. Never again. These will be NPCs, right? Oh, good. They're going the, the other way. Nah, it's an NPC. God damn it. I forget, yeah, because it's like um, it's like Breath of the Wild, I think, where if it's raining, like the NPCs will go a bit quicker until they get out of it. At least I think so. I know it's in Breath of the Wild. Is that a thing in Red Dead? They ride faster to get out of the rain? Surely. I know Breath of the Wild, they do it for sure. That's all that's coming to mind right now. Where the hell is this place? I didn't realize it was so far out. I didn't realize it was up near Valentine and Emerald Ranch. I had a quick glance at the map. I'm like, I'll just follow the marker. So I always get lost. Alright, I think this is where we buy the thing. Do, 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 do. Rolling on the river. I suppose it's here. Alright. Where's the shop? Where do I... Uh-huh. Right. Wait. Wait. Oh, this is where you bring it? Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? Oh no. Oh, this is where you pick it up. Bring one bottle of it. So this is comedy. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know this was Comedy Del Ranch. Where do I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where do I buy that? Is there, like, another icon I'm missing? Where do I buy that? How am I going to find that out? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I thought that would... So that's, yeah, that's where I delivered it. Oh, like, where would I get that from? Like, maybe... Maybe each general store sells different stuff. Maybe it's at, where the hell even am I now? Where am I? I feel so, oh, there. Oh God. Like maybe, maybe it's like each, I just don't know. I don't know where you get. Where do I find Woody scented perfume? Maybe at the tailor? Freight depot? Like maybe there's maybe there's different stuff at each general store. <laughs> oh no! Classic Albert. Steve, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Wish one of those players stopped so I could talk to him and ask, where do I find these things I gotta deliver? <laughs> Surely there's someone on a porch in Valentine. <laughs> like, please! I just want to find someone ask the question. Which way is Valentine again? I should know. Oh. I go back through. Oh, man. I mean, it's going to take me all night to find this woody... Scented perfume. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, maybe I'll maybe I'll check the other job boards, and I'll find maybe there'll be a, a job that so I'd be like, oh yeah, I know where that is. You look, I got 24 hours, but I can only play tonight. I got work tomorrow. Like I gotta figure, I gotta I gotta get a job done tonight so that I don't lose money. I thought it would be easy, Steve. I thought it would be easy. This is not, I don't know where I'm going. It's good in a way, it's sort of like, because I'm like, oh, I gotta figure it out. But I'm also like, oh, but look, you, I got $3. Like you get like, there's a little bit of like, you get pocket money. So, like, let's say I fail the mission. Uh, I still just, you know, those, those three dollars, they add up. Roll it on. What? Me? Never. I'm a hard worker, Steve. Rolling on. I always get, um, whenever I'm, like, traveling somewhere in this, in Red Dead, I always get, um, that Credence Clearwater Revival song stuck in my head. Like, I'm not rolling on a river right now. But it's just, it's a, it's a great traveling song. Hey, Mr. Phenom. Do you have to craft perfume from flowers and animals yarn? Oh, God. I didn't even think of that. What if I, what if I have to craft it? How do I do that? How do I do that? Surely not. Surely not. Oh, no. You might be right. I might have to craft it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I didn't even think of that. I'm already like across the country and I'm like, just want to find someone. Where can I get perfume? Please, someone help me. I'm, it's, it's my first day. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I'm lost and I'm afraid. That's what I'm thinking. But I checked the St. Denis General Store. Oh, we got one of those phantom horses, autopilot horses. I checked the St. Denis store. And it's definitely not there. Oh. Is this play shenanigans, or is this just the NPCs, the NPC in? Kill the skunk from bed. What's well, woody scented perfume? Like, bruh. Classic Valentine. This intersection is the worst. Bruh, there's nothing there. Classic. Oh, good day. Yes, sir. How you doing? Oh, well, I'm doing all right, old chap. Um, I'm new here in, uh, you know, the U.S. of A. And, uh, I've, uh, tried to pick up some side work to try and earn a pretty penny. And I, I seem to be struggling a little bit. Right, you're, you're struggling? What's, uh, what's the matter? Well, look, back in London, I wasn't exactly the type of fellow to pop on down to the store 
to buy perfume very often. So I thought it would be quite straightforward. So down in St. Denis, when I arrived off the boat, I picked up one of the side jobs there. It was to uh, collect some uh, woody scented perfume and deliver it to a ranch. And uh, I, to be quite frank with you, I have no idea where to, per where to gather this perfume from. M Mister, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm like, I'm not equipped to help you with a perfume related uh, problem. Uh, is there anything else I can, I can help you out with? Have you done a citizen registry or anything like that? Uh, uh, no, no, I, I just arrived. Well, look, I, well, I arrived in the country a few days ago. I arrived off a steamboat from Liverpool, England, up in Boston. And then I traveled on down on yet another steamboat. Um, but yeah, no one's mentioned right. anything about a citizen, uh, ci what is it, a citizen's registry. Yeah, citizen registry. So like I can, uh, if you want, I mean, it's completely, completely optional. You could, uh, I, basically what it is is like I write up your first name, your last name. I take a telegram and I, I take your fingerprints and then uh, I can offer you $50 in return. If, if that's the kind of money that's helping you out at the moment. You say, I just got to give a few personal details and you, you'll give me $50. Yeah, long as you ain't done one before, I can absolutely, uh, yeah, do that, do that for you. I can, I can write you up and uh, fifty dollars. Might I just ask, uh, what what sort of position of employment do you have to have such power here in this country? Oh, I, I Paula, you know what? We ain't even introduced ourselves. I'm Deputy Sawyer Blake. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're one of these deputies I've heard about, upholders of the law. Yeah, that's right. What was that deputy? Uh, deputy Sawyer, Sawyer Blake. Sawyer Blake, pleasure to meet you. My name's uh, Groves, uh, Albert Groves, uh, from from the UK. Right, right. Mr. Groves, all right. Well, look, over there, you know, back in the old streets of London, you know, the, the local law enforcement would, uh, you, know, we'd, we'd, you know, we'd be able to spot them a mile away, especially the guards out by the old Buckingham Palace. Uh, I, I don't mean to come across as rude or anything, as a, as a, a fresh face in your fine country, but... Uh, would you happen to have any sort of uh, documentation? Uh, like, like proving that I'm a, I'm a deputy? Yes, it's just you're the first uh, a deputy I've met. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. Right, okay. Um, so, like, you see this right here in my chest? Oh, right. Yes, sorry, I didn't, didn't see no, that. No, you're, you're, you're fine, you're fine. It's, uh, so this is Deputy Blake. Of the Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Right. Well, it says, it says Sheriff's Deputy, I think, technically. But Oh, no, that's all right. Look, so I'm just a little bit nervous. I've never... No, no, you're you're okay. You're, I, you're fine. I have... I'd... Look, back back home, I mainly would catch the train between London and, and up north and to the surrounding towns. But here, you know, I've been out in the wilderness trying to find bloody, ruddy perfume. No idea what I'm bloody well doing. But, yeah, I'd be happy to... Uh, uh, yes, I'm looking to make this my new home, so I'd be happy to happy to do whatever the government requires of me. So, uh, is there a spot I can uh, leave my wagon? Uh, I think that grass patch over there is probably just across over there. Patch. Yeah, I reckon so. All right, give me just a second. Just all right. Come on, girl. Uh, no problem. <laughs> oh my God, I found a player. It's a player, TJ. It's a player. We're doing it. We found someone. We found someone! Plunk! Deputy Sawyer. Oh my god! Someone help me! <laughs> He's gonna give me $50 for doing some of this stuff. Let's go! I'll give away my kidney. There we go, all tucked away. It's a rental, so I don't want to go damaging it. No, I, I understand completely. Oh, we'll try to make sure that's alright. Um, you ain't got no, like, uh, weapons on you or anything like that? Oh, no! No, nothing at all! Alright, well, uh, I, just protocol dictates. I gotta, like, uh, t I just gotta take a quick look, make sure you ain't got no, like, gun or, like, knives on you or nothing like that. Then, once you're uh, all good, I can take you inside and we can, uh... Oh, right, we can, uh, uh, get your registry on the way. Uh, yes, I've sort of done this sort of thing back before, uh, back in London. Search away, officer! I appreciate that, Mr. Groves. Oh. All right, that looks to be in order, as far as I'm concerned. You just 
apples, you know, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so... And then, uh... Yeah, that's a, that's a good saying. Would there happen to be a spot where I can, uh, collect some clean drinking water? Clean drinking water. Yeah, I bought yeah. this, uh... I bought this canteen. To uh, hopefully, you, you know, don't want to stay high. You don't want to, like, dip your... You don't want to dip your canteen in, like, a water barrel? Is that not your, not your thing? Well... Wouldn't be my first choice, but if it's if it's the only water available, is it, you wouldn't have an app have a top around anywhere, collect some fresh rainwater, would you? Um, I think there's probably like a I I I'll look around with you. There's probably like a sink or something that out the back of the medical office that you can use. Well, it's just, you know, in London, you know, the, the average drinking source wasn't that great either. You know, a bit of floaties and whatnot, but the London River has a bit of You weren't like sipping out sipping out of the Thames. No, goodness no. So I would, you know, wait until we go to a fine establishment, grab a, a nice clean glass of water there. You know, it's just, you know, but, uh, I suppose I'll make do. I'd rather not pass out or anything. Right. Uh, can I just have your full name one more time? Albert Groves. Albert Groves. Yes. <laughs> oh, you got any nicknames you like to go by, Mr. Groves, or...? Just to your Christian given. Uh, well, back, back in London, some of the some of the colleagues would, you know, uh, Grovesy or um, Albo. Uh, that was that was really it. Nothing, nothing really. A bit more. That was about as snappy as it got. Right, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you, uh, do you know your telegram off by heart? Uh, not off by heart, but let me think real hard. Is it, yeah, right. is it three digits? Uh, it should be two letters, three digits. Uh, letters? Uh, letters, like... <laughs> as you do. That's all right. We can, we can go back to that later. That's all right. They gave me some numbers when I got off the, the steamboat. They said, yo, hang on to these. Uh, but nothing including letters. <laughs> right, okay. That's all right. Um, and uh, how old are you? Forty. Or the dot. All right. I'm and uh, sure. what color are your eyes? Oh, like a, like a brown, I think. Shit. Brown? Got it. <laughs> or like a hazel. All right. Darker, dark eyes. Yeah. All right. Um, do you got a uh, any like next to kin or like anybody in town that you'd want us to put down, or is like a emergency contact, anything like that? Look, Mr. Deputy, I'll be real with you. You're the first person I've had a proper conversation with. I, all my family, what's left of them, is back in England. I will. Uh, I don't know you that well, but, you know, perhaps one day I could be your next of kin. Oh, early days. It's early days. Early days, that's right. <laughs> okay, so, uh, last step is that, uh... So I'll get you to like uh, just put your fingertips on the ink pad there. Right. Oh God. All right, and once you got them like uh, nice and inked up, you just like put your hands up again one more time. Oh. Um. Hope I'm doing it right. Just all five got fingers. Whole, got your hand, whole hand in there. Yeah, both, both, both of them if you can. Oh, I suppose it's finger. <laughs> Fingerprint, not handprint. Sorry. I mean, that, 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 that's all right. I mean, the ink's there to be used. Do you, want right. to, do you want to get all five fingers while I'm here? Yeah, yeah, all five fingers, both hands, if I can. Oh, look, got to be thorough. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and perfect. All right. Thank Rose, you. Appreciate your patience. Enough. Oh, it's alright. Um, so I'm guessing you don't have a horse. I guess you might not have learned to ride one necessarily. Oh no, we in, in London we just you know walk places or just you know use the carriages. Um, I was a bit of a, a taxi driver, so to speak, a single horse, uh, the Grumbler, I believe the nickname was over there. Um, so yeah, I just I've never never was never taught to ride, so I just uh, rented that wagon from the Saint Denis. Uh, from the store there in Saint Denis. Yeah, from the uh, what you call it, the wagon rental. <laughs> sure yeah, the yeah, wagon rent. Not not the stable. The it was over by the train yard. Yeah, that's the one. 
I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. We just the warehouse or something, I guess. I'd probably, I'd probably call it the wagon, the wagon house. Wagon house, wagonry, wagonatorium, whatever. Wheelhouse. Whatever. Like whatever you prefer. Wheelhouse. That's a, that's a snappy name. I like the wheelhouse. <laughs> wheelhouse. I can finally say something's in mine. All right, I got you. Uh, your fifty dollars here. <laughs> And uh, if you are new to the crossing, I'm gonna give you a little bit extra. That's just a gift from me as a friend, as like oh. a, like a friendly stranger. And do I just lock the trade? Yeah, you just lock it in. Just like that. Oh, there you go. That's very kind of you. It's I've never never been given money by a, a government official before. Very kind. Oh, that, that's all right. Part of it's the, uh, the registry stop in, and, and part of it's just. Uh, this might sound bold, but I, frankly, I'm a I'm a man of like real simple means, so uh, I, I just like using my money to help folks when I can. Well, I suppose that's why you're a, you're a deputy. You want to help people. Yeah, that's right. I mean, like some folks know what to do with all the money they earn, and I I just plum don't. So, but I, I just help other folks out when I can. Oh, I love. I'm feeling safer already in this in this wild wild west. It's a it's a it's further than a stone's throw from home, I'll tell you what. It's, the whole boat ride here. I was just thinking, what on earth am I going to do in in this new world? I, uh, I want, hopefully would like to be a drive the locomotives. That's my dream. Oh, you want to be like a like a train train officer? Yes, yeah. I would I would drive the wagons around London and you know get people from here to there. A bit of you know moving things at the train yard, but they just. You know, the building up the London Underground. There's just so many people putting their their hats into the ring, so to speak. So just there, there wasn't enough room for old Groves to to put his hand up. So they they suggested, well, why don't you go try in the the new world? You know, out in the out in the countryside. Maybe maybe you'll have less competition. So I've come out here to hopefully achieve that. God, just father make father proud. Well, shucks. I reckon the train folks are definitely always looking for employees. Do you know, is there, is there like an office or anyone I could speak to? A, oh, know. that's a good point, actually. Yeah, um, let me, let me take a look real quick. I reckon, dude. I just thought I might I ask around before I just go following the, the train tracks aimlessly around the countryside. I might, might run head on into one or something. Might be a good idea, yeah. Um. <laughs> but there's definitely a couple ways to apply. Let me just out of here. Do they have a, a central office in Saint Denis, or is there another? No, not not really a central office, so to speak. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, there's a a timetable at every telegram office that you can use to like. Check if uh, if a train's running for one. Right. And those those folks probably got the best idea about who you should talk to. But I feel like there should be a CTA contact list. That'll do. <laughs> so, I, uh, I hope I I'm not holding you up or anything. No, you're not holding me up at all. Uh, this is my job: is uh, interfacing with civilians. Oh, good. I'm, so, I'm very fortunate I ran into you. I. It's a shame though. I'm still. No idea where to find this ruddy perfume. Oh, there's a lady. She just walked by before. I should have asked her. I don't know where. There's a lady? A, a lady was running up the street and she passed on by, but I was thinking about. I was thinking about home. I didn't. All right. I forgot to. I should have. I should have said something. I think I saw some people down the end of the street as well. So I'm getting sidetracked. Learning so much. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. And then, and then, you know, getting on in my years, you know, it's hard to. I've got to focus on things one thing at a time. Or pun the pun the train pun. I get tunnel vision. Oh, absolutely. I I, I completely get it. Oh, um, I got, so uh, how about this? I'll give you her telegram. Yes. Of the, oh, uh, her being the uh, the director of the SCTA, just to clarify. Direct uh, director of the what? Uh, of the Saints Cross and Train Authority, or Transit Authority, I think. Transit, it is. right? And uh, uh, what, what, what was their name? Uh, Helena Knight. Helena. Like, uh, Knight in shining armor. 
Ah, yes. Like King Arthur. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Like, whatever, whatever you reckon, man. Right. It's Helena Knight. And uh, what was the what was the the number? Uh, telegram number is gonna be P A, as in personal assistant. P A, yes. Uh, nine four two. Nine four two. Right. So I just sent you a telegram inquiring you. I would love to learn a trade. I suppose I've got yeah, a lot to I offer. So. Yeah, I've never I've never driven something quite as big as a train, but I'm definitely familiar with them. Uh, so um, it was a, a good pastime. Well, not a pastime. Out of there, miss. Really? Oh, yes. Hello, miss. Oh, excuse me, madam. Do you have a minute? Good day, miss. Sorry to trouble you. I was wondering if you had time for just a quick question. Hello? Uh, out of there. How you doing? I'm not sure if she can hear me. I'm not sure she... I, I, I mean, she stopped or came back over when you called out to her. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Oh, oh hello, miss. How you doing? Miss, I was just wondering if you had uh, just a moment for a quick question. All right. I've recently... I've, I've just arrived in your in your lovely country here, so I picked up some side work from the notice board down in St. Denis where I need to... Uh, uh, I need to I deliver some uh, wood woody-scented perfume to a ranch. Would you happen to have any idea where I might uh, acquire some perfume from. Oh, drats. Oh, oh, thank you for your time anyway. I'll inquire further with other people. Sorry about that. I think you probably got to go and make them for yourself. Make it? Oh dear, all right. I, I suppose, maybe a, a good starting point is uh, alcohol, pure alcohol. Right. Okay. Well, I'll yeah, investigate make, further. Maybe I'll, f or maybe I'll find a other work, which doesn't require me uh, mixing mixing things. Yes. No, you you doing all right tonight? <laughs> That's good to hear. I'm Deputy Sawyer. I, I don't think we ever met before. Stevie Steinem. Stevie. Um, nice to meet you, Stevie. You alright? Uh, so far, yeah. Well, I suppose this is dinner. Happy a day, just like you said. Oh, was that it then? Well, shucks, I guess so. I'm just hoping you have a lovely night, all right? Yes, thank you very much, miss. Right. Thank you for your time. I thought... All right. She seemed a little dour. Yes, I hope she's all right. I hope I didn't waste any of her time. I just thought maybe a... A young lady might know where the whereabouts of some perfume, but, you know, guess not. I thought it was a good guess. I mean, she's acting mighty bizarre. She was actually climbing. I mean, I don't know if you saw, but she climbed up onto that roof there before, and she was, like, I don't know, crawling around upstairs. Then she walked down from that staircase, so oh. she's been a little strange. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Uh, She, she did seem a little slow. Maybe she had a, a rough night's sleep. Yeah, that's possible. Uh, she's just shy, who knows? Oh, I don't blame her. But, uh, I definitely had to have a bit of a chin wag with many people on the steamboat. I thought, well, I'm not going to get anything bloody well done here if I just be quiet about it. So, appreciate all your help. Now, sure. about that uh, clean about drinking it. water. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, all right. Um, That should be back this way, I think. Oh, very good. I just thought, I've bought this canteen. Better... Better use it. Better fill it up. That's right. So like, there's a, there's some drinking barrels here, but I, I think there's a sink back here that might be like a little more. Uh, that would definitely be preferable. 
the quest. Used to it after all the... Yeah, there we go. There it is. <laughs> He's gonna point to that. You're like, there it is. Ah. Yep, medical office has gotta have clean running water, so. Oh. How do I? You uh, need any help? Uh, there you go. I think I've got the trick. Let me. I've just got to make sure I filled it all the way up. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Ah, oh, oh. Ah! Mm. ah, yes. That's. It's not the best water I've ever had, but that will do nicely. Thank you very much. I'll remember this spot every time I come through town. Yeah, no problem. I mean, if you want clean water, uh, closer to the glacier, you get the kind of crisper it gets. Oh, well, you know, you you drink one bit of bad water, and you know, have no idea what you could become sick with. I mean, that's what happened to Armadillo way back when. I'm a, I'm a what? Oh, there's a, so, uh, there's a county out west called uh, New Austin. It's actually taking where I'm, I'm stationed. That's where I'm, <laughs> as of today, I've been allocated there. Oh. I'm told to report in, at the very least. Uh, so, you know much about the geography of the crossing, or are you kind of still figuring that out? Well, no. To be quite frank, I've <laughs> no idea. No idea where I'm going. I've just, say to me, and here, and there's the, the ranch. That's, that's all I know. Well, uh, there's five counties that comprise Saints Crossing. Uh, we're currently in New Hanover. It stretches from, uh, I guess, the, the Dakota River all the way to uh, Annisburg. Uh-huh. Which is uh, the same coast of the, what is it, the Lanahassee River, I think, that San Denis is uh, also perched upon. Oh, yes, that would have been the, the little town I saw we passed on the way down from Boston. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of like a lot of smokestacks and uh, a lot of, well, a lot of smoke at that. The coal mine. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Jolly good profession. Met a, many a good buyer back home. Did you uh, pass by roads by any chance? Oh, goodness. No, I, um... No, didn't pass through any town on the way here. Right, okay. Well, back a lot closer to San Denis, a smaller town called Rhodes. Uh -huh. Which is, a uh, Kind of like a... It's very proper for a small town, but... It's, uh... Got uh, clay dirt roads rather than uh, mud like here. But there's a nice uh, parlor house there uh, called the Non Life Saloon. Oh, that sounds nice. Just outside of Saint yeah, Denis, you say? Yeah, just uh, just west of Saint Denis. You take the road west from Saint Denis, you're definitely gonna ride through or just pass roads. Right. I'll try and uh, pop through there on the way back to Saint Denis. Yeah, right. But then if you uh. Point yourself like southwest from here and keep going. You'll eventually uh, head to the county of uh, West Elizabeth. It has a uh, um, strawberry. Kind of like a little uh, kind of quaint town. Bit of a tourist trap, if you ask me, but split in half by a river. Uh -huh. And then uh, on the coast of the Flatiron Lake is a town called Blackwater, which is like a planned city. It's, it's Kind of like like a bit of sand and he broke off and and like took root somewhere else. It's kind of what it feels like. Oh yeah, yes, yes. It's all like uh, cobblestone streets. But then if you keep heading southwest, you'll pass, well you pass around a, a town called Thieves Landing. I don't recommend you go there. By the by. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, imagine the type. The name says it all. And yeah, the folks there uh, do not take kindly to uh, law officers or. Uh, Ordinary civilians, I'd wager. Oh, right. Steer clear of Thieves Landing. Got it. But if you keep riding west, about as far west as you can ride in this state, you end up in a place called New Austin. And there's a town there. The capital is uh, Armadillo. Armadillo. Right. And then that's where you're, you're heading now, is it? Uh, maybe not right this second. I'm going to go see if I can check on some other deputies uh, over in Strawberry Way. But, yeah, Slowly making my way out that way. But, All right. Well, um, I don't want to keep you for too much longer. But uh, that, that lovely young lady, she suggested that 
for the perfume, I may need to make it myself. Um, how would I, I, I'm not much of a, a scientist or a doctor or anything like that. How would I go about concocting something? Shucks, there was an alchemist or a fellow that said he was an alchemist that made tonics in here like. So I, I came here because I, I got a report of an injured person out in the Heartlands. And uh, yes. I was able to find him and uh, brought him back here. He said he was like a, a co uh, come this way. I, I could be wrong about this, but like, as far as like an alcohol base goes, I think here that you can buy like pure alcohol. Right, let me take a gander. Like they'll, they'll sell you rubbing alcohol for about $10 a bottle. Oh my God. A small empty tonic bottle. Oh, God. Right, so I can see you can buy some pure alcohol and bottles and such, but what? To get a, wood, a, a woody scented perfume so I could. What would I, I am out of it? What would I mix with alcohol to get, make a woody scented product? If I had to guess, you'd need, um, like wood shavings. Wood shavings? I've never yeah. been, never been a lumberjack in my life. Might have to find someone who's willing to cut down a tree for you, then, Mister Mister Groves. Goodness gracious! I think I might be better off investigating the other notice boards around and see if there's something a little bit more up my alley. Is there any other sort of you know? Until I get in contact with these uh, the transit authority, is there any other? Is there any other jobs you'd recommend? I'm just, I'm not wanting to make a, a big profit now. It's just something to get by. Oh, I, I understand. I mean, like, be a fancy, like, ranch work, like doing chores. Oh, it's not my first choice, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'd be willing to help out however I can until I get, get on my feet. But like, places like uh, Pronghorn Ranch, uh, I reckon they got, like, notice boards and stuff, so... Places like that, they can uh, certainly set you up with a couple different jobs, but closest would, for you would probably be Emerald Ranch out to the east. Oh, yes, I think I, uh -oh. I think I saw that on the way here. So you see, suggesting, yeah, try some. So I'll try to get this telegram away and um, investigate some, some work at a ranch. Yeah, I, I reckon that's probably your uh, your best bet. I could be wrong. No, that's right. It's it's a it's at least something because I'm better than what is that came to my mind. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take a look at the local notice board. And I'll pop on out to the ranch there. But uh, I really do appreciate your help today. You know, I hope I've been a, a the makings of a a respectable citizen of your fine country. And I really appreciate you giving me a bit of bit of extra pocket money to get me on my feet. It's it's a truly a warm welcome. It's no problem at all, Mr. Groves. And uh, if you uh, ain't got the money for a horse, then you're going to have to rent a couple wagons in your time here. So, you know, it's the least I can do helping out. Well, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous to go jumping on the back of a of a steed. Um, like I said, I've never been never taught to ride or anything like that. So maybe maybe one of these ranches, if I get some casual work, maybe some, one of the ranches will uh, take the time to show me the ropes, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, like another night, if you, if you're in dire need, I'm I'm uh I could probably help you out with some like basic horse riding lessons. Sure, yes. Uh, well, yeah, I don't want to keep you. I know you you mentioned you need to get out to a uh, uh, strawberry. It's such a, such a delightful little town name. Um, what? Uh, how would I get in contact with you in future? You, you, would you have a telegram number as well? Yeah, I do. You can take it down if you like. Sure. You just let me know when you're ready. And uh, away, uh, when you're ready. All right, EP as in easy peasy. <laughs> yes. Eight, three, six. Eight, three, six. And that was, I do apologize, was, was Sawyer your first or last name? I got two first names, don't it seem like that way. Uh, I'm Deputy Sawyer Blake. Sawyer Blake, that's right. Yes, I remember the, the Sawyer part, very hard to forget. Sawyer Blake, EP836. Okay. That's the one. I oh. don't mind uh, being referred to by Sawyer or Blake, by the way. Just a uh, preference. Not a problem. Well, I'll keep that in mind. If I if I can't get a hold of any of these ranches, 
or anything. I'll live here uh, um, another day uh, or night this week. I will inquire to, uh, to learn because I've seen it's like every second person you see is riding around on a horse. It uh, sort of is a basic uh, way of life out here, I'll tell you, but um, you'd be like the third person I've given riding lessons to. So you know, so you know what you're doing. Post. Well, uh, I served with the Arizona Rangers for two years, and uh, back there I was an acting sergeant with the Outriders, so my job was to, uh, well, for a while there, I, I trained new recruits in, in horse riding and the handling of firearms. Oh, and firearms. I... <laughs> I've never held a gun in my life. Well, I could technically help you out with that too if you were so keen, but I also respect if uh, if that's not your taste either. Oh, well, it's just in London, we never really. wasn't really. I've seen my fair share of you know people throwing fists, so to speak, but it was very. you didn't really see anyone with firearms other than the local uh, government authorities and the military and things like that. It's just. People mainly carried knives, I suppose. Yeah, I got a few stories from uh, one or two. There's a couple of deputies who actually are from uh, are from your neck of the woods. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a fellow by the name of uh, Danny Wainwright, who's frankly one of the one of the toughest sons of bitches I ever met, but very polite also. And uh, he talked a lot about you know life back in uh, back in London. Oh, good. I'd love to. Hopefully I cross paths with his uh, Wainwright, was it? Yeah, that's right. I'll keep an ear out. Uh, that would be good to talk about all home. Got a very particular sense of humor, but I reckon you two would get along just fine. Sounds splendid. No, I definitely, definitely uh, I'll keep an ear out, um, Mr. Wainwright. All right. And I suppose as, as someone that's come over from across the pond as well, they might have some uh, niche... Uh, tips for me as well. Is the bell ringing? Yeah, I, uh, the, that bell is certainly a tolling. It's not normal. I, I think someone's like throwing rocks at it or something. Who would do such a thing? Maybe it does just sound like that. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I believe that's the first bell I've heard here, so I'm not really... I'm not hey, able to really help with the matter. Oh, shucks, How many times did it ring? I, I was it like at least tw at least it, that's the thing. It was like it was like ringing a regular. It was like like about three. Yeah, I was I I stopped keeping track. Is must have been like what was it? At hourly? least twelve, maybe. Out of there. How y'all doing? Good evening. Hi, Blake. Out of there. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. What you, what, doing? What you up to? I'm uh, just uh, talking to uh, uh, a fresh faced fella here, new to the crossing. Oh, welcome to the crossing. Thank you very much, Miss. It's been a wonderful experience so far. Thank you. Oh, that, wow, that's good. I'm a rancher. I work in Emerald Ranch. If you ever want to do ranch work, I mean, let me, you know, we can, we can ranch together. You don't say. I Mr. Blake here was just suggesting that until I get in contact with the transit authority to uh, to take up some ranch work. And I was actually going to head on down to Emerald Ranch in a moment. Yeah, it's great there. I do a lot of, you know, good ranch work at Emerald Ranch. Well, that sounds splendid. Are you heading back there soon? Um, maybe. I mean, it's up to this guy. Out of there. How you doing? doing? Are y'all are y'all good tonight? Everything all right? Where's that you ringing the bell? But I like to ring a ding ding, all right. So were you like hucking like knives at it or what? <laughs> arrows. Arrows. You were shooting arrows at the church bell. Yes. <laughs> Definitely got our attention. Yeah. You certainly got my attention. Just wait till the next big poker game. That'll be real fun. I might get shot. <laughs> uh, now why would you get shot at a poker game? I don't know. I'm gonna buy like 300. <laughs> 300. That's that is certainly gonna... higher than any time on any ordinary clock. I just need to clarify. You're gonna buy 30 10 arrow quivers and set them <laughs> up just like like in a line. Yeah. Find a church 
and yep. just one after the other. <laughs> It'll be like a ballista, you know? Quiver, air quivers. 16 air quivers. Listen, I, this might shock you, but I'm not an archer. Oh, well. I, I, do, I do appreciate the accuracy to the bit, though. I do think that's important. I'm not really an archer either, but I am an extremely accomplished sharpshooter. Although as a rancher, I don't really need those skills, so... <laughs> I suppose if there's one way to train as a marksman, it's shooting at a bell 300 times. <laughs> True. Well, Do you guys you know, want to go climb the most dangerous mountain in the entire state? I, you know, I would... I'd love to, but I do... I do have a job to stick to for the time being. <laughs> Oh, come on. There's nothing happening right now. I'd find it very difficult to accomplish my job if I got myself perished on account of gravity. You're not gonna die. I've oh, been up the so mountain before. Oh, it's so quiet. That one time. I don't know. It's so quiet. Hold nothing happen. Well, I, what I the got... fuck are you- are you trying to go rob the bank? Or what- what are you- what- why are you saying that? Wait, please don't uh, rob the bank. I work at the bar, so the superstition is that if you say quiet in the Valentine, it, uh, gets busy. Oh dear. It, you know, that is that is the leg, the, the legend, the myth, as, as they say, you know. I see. Mm -hmm. The superstition. Like the moment you say it, things happen. One time we saw Miss Clara said it, and then the bank was immediately robbed. Stop saying quiet or else. Why? Oh. Stop it. I think you just okay. said why. You're I think you just said the word why. That was almost bad. <laughs> if I wasn't holding on, I would have been in the mud. <laughs> Well, Dad, you were holding on. If you need some clean water to wash up with, if you fall in the mud, well, Mr. Sawyer was very kind to show me where to find the cleanest water to drink. Surely good to bathe in as well. Oh, from the sink? Yes! That's, that's the one. That's yeah, the one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the best water I ever had was up near that old uh, rickety moonshine shack behind Hanging Dog with the creepy ass guy in there, and there's like a spring up there. It comes down from the glacier. It's amazing. Goodness, is it, that's quite a lot of effort to find the best drinking water, but I suppose if it's that good. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Well, I'm, I mean, you can you just said, go to, like, uh, the, the river just above Cattail Pond. That's that's, uh, that's probably about as far as you need to go if you want glacier water. There's a pond right in the middle of San Denis. Go there. Don't, don't oh. drink from the pond in the middle of San Denis. That's where I take my <laughs> No, I, I passed by that. That did not look appetizing at all. You take, you take your baths in the pond at San Denis? No, I take my baths in the fountain across from the sheriff's office. The fountain? Goodness gracious. Good lord. That is vile. You know, I, I once caught a deputy drinking from uh, the, the water at Annisburg. Ew. At least you didn't say... No, I didn't mean to say that. I think, I think the only place that's worse is like... I mean, I guess it's a tie between the, the water offflow from a lesion pool. Well... Which is like, the, Yellow. The water Man outside. Holding. The water outside the slaughterhouse is pretty disgusting. I can. I'd imagine so. Oh, uh, that canal, like where the bridge is in San Denis. Uh huh. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> There's a lot of places I wouldn't drink from. Did, like... you, did you? Did you know? Right. So I was walking through the swamp about a week ago. I was collecting cardinal flowers or some shit, and. One of the goddamn alligators started chasing me around. <laughs> now yeah, what? They, yeah, they started ch I didn't even know that they did that. I thought they just sat there and looked pretty, you know? I don't think they got gators where this fellow's from. You've never seen an alligator? No. Got crocodiles? Is that right or is that the other place? Not that I recall. Just, you know, you want to watch out for badgers and foxes. Oh, have you ever seen the cuddle bears? The what? The cuddle bears. They live in tall trees in big valleys. Listen, if you, if you ever see anything bigger than a badger, it's probably bad. And it's, fur, and it's fuzzy and no, furry. No, no, no. Listen, I think that, you know, you should come with Dante and I, and we'll take you to go see the cuddle bears in tall trees. Will, do, will this involve getting paid for some ranch work? No, it's just, you know, you're making new friends, you know? Mr. Groves, uh, are, are you familiar with what a grizzly bear is? Uh, no, is that, I'm imagining that's some breed of cuddle bear? Okay. We really need to take it to see a grizzly bear. Blake, come with us. No, I'm not, I'm come not on. endorsing this behavior. You're, this is you're, a, you're a deputy, you could protect us. 
I'm a deputy. My job is to protect folk from folk, not folk from vicious wildlife. That's a ranger. I mean... I, just because I used to be an Arizona ranger, but it's a different kind of ranger, okay? Yeah, there's a lot wrong with that. A lot wrong with what? Taking okay. him to see we, No, we need to go take him to see Chris. No, we don't. This yes, fella don't do. even ride a horse. No. You can't take him to, like, the deep... Yeah, that's all right. I've got my he rental can. wagon. I mean, the wagon would scare the bears horse. away. Look, if it's part of the American experience, I'd be happy to have a look. But I do have a question first, which uh -huh. which is the reason why I came to this town to begin with is, would you happen to know where one could acquire perfume? Don't say tall trees. It's not, it's not for me. It's a, I, I picked up a job from the notice board down in St. Denis. A, a ranch is in dire need of some woody scented perfume. I have... No idea where I'm looking to get this. Well, it's woody, right? So tall trees. There's lots of wood there. Huh? Head head down to Tivus Landing. Down to <laughs> down to what? You you two are like so criminally adjacent. It's physically hurting me right now. <laughs> I'm not. I've actually never committed a crime, and I'm ex-ranger. Neither have I. I'm a rancher. <laughs> You're telling this fellow to go to Thieves Landing on his first day in the crossing. We're Thieves Landing. No. <gasps> I've already said Titus Landing. Yeah, Tyvis. He said t Tyvis. Pity landing? But she makes Stop, a good point. You you're know, woody done. scented perfume. <laughs> Tall trees sounds awfully woody. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Groves, I know we've only just met, but. <laughs> you can trust my, us. We're. My advice would be to. Quiet. My, no. my advice would be that if you wanted to visit tall trees mm, and, and get no. a better better idea on tall trees, is that you should ask a ranger to take you. Yeah, right. Yes. I... Exactly. Exactly. We have an ex ranger. Yeah, I'm still not willing to take him to tall trees. Maybe he another time. Gun. His holster is empty. He don't carry a gun. Ow. I've never Look, never right. held a gun before in my life. I'm fresh off the steamboat from England. We have guns. I wouldn't know I mean, what to I've do with it. Fired mine, but I know you got bows at the very least. All I want to do is see his reaction to the cuddle bear. Well, I've got rifles. If you want to see his reaction to the cuddle bear, take him to Strawberry and show him the, the no, stuff one and the. Not good Maybe that would be a better way of leading up to the. It'd definitely be a better start. No, 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 like, no, no, no. I could say. Trial it's like when you're teaching somebody to swim, you just throw them into the deepest part of the river. Are you a uh, trickster spirit sent to ch like test me or something? Or <laughs> no. Yeah, honestly, you should take him somewhere a lot safer, like Roanoke. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Howdy, folks. How y'all doing? Like maybe you just can some. Show him the cuddle kitty. There's definitely no ranch work going right now. Like maybe something. That was, that wasn't Caster Frey, right? Um. I don't know. I've never seen that man I in my entire life. I cannot speak on that. For God's sake, people! I mean, I'm, I'm asking for the safety of my own life. Yeah. There's well, a... yeah. So Listen. for the safety of your own life, probably don't assume that's who that was. Yeah, maybe don't go chase them. I mean, you know. You yourself and yours. What? I'm not gonna... No, I think you misunderstand. Is is more like certain promises were made against my name oh. last time I met a fella about never cast well, afraid. I, I see. Well, that's why you should come with us to tall trees, and then you'll be safe. <laughs> you, you mm -hmm. rapscallion. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh I'd goodness. Like to make a report. <laughs> sorry about that. I'd like to make a complaint. Go about, about, a about is it about me? Tour. Would you like to make a complaint about me? Because I, I mistakenly drew my my far on. Yeah, I mean, I did yes, kind I of know. shit a little in my pants when you did that. Jesus, she well, has uh, a weird obsession with that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sincere. What? <laughs> Feel like I'm learning an awful lot about your culture here in America. <laughs> um, don't don't take sir, this conversation as indicative of anything. You're no, standing. that's exactly right, sir. Do you see his boots? That's why they're all the way up to his knees. It's because he has to wade through all the Valentine. crap. <laughs> I mean, in oh, Valentine. Out of shit. Not wrong. Not wrong in Valentine, that's technically. That's not mud, sir. That is shit. His oh. boots were white when he bought them. <laughs> oh, dear. It's a, it's a 
you know, they really went for just the quickest, easiest road to make here. Yeah, now as for Listen, his hands if... being <laughs> Are you all right back there? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, listen, uh, I apologize. Storm's blowing in. I got to get the strawberry before that happens. So, uh... I'll come with you to strawberry. <laughs> no, you're not coming store. with me to we strawberry. We can all go see the cuddle bear. You're not coming with me to strawberry, damn it. You won't make it to the strawberry. Hey, you will. Is that it? Are you challenging? You know, you're trying to get a rise out of me. That's what that is. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I can't believe you're not going to protect so, this brand new oh, civilian oh. crossing who we're going to go take to see grizzly bears. That's so sad. Look, I may no, pass don't. on the, the, the cuddle bears on this occasion. But so you oh. say that there is work available at Emerald Ranch? Yep, Emerald yeah, and Pronghorn. Working. Emerald and Pronghorn. And who do I speak yep. to at, at these ranches? Um, there, usually the ranchers post, like, flyers up on, like, job boards. You can look there. And is it yeah, simple work? Or is it, does it require finding perfume? Uh, Shuffling crap and hay bales and milky cows. involves grizzly bears. <laughs> oh. And Emerald involves angry bulls. So pick your poison. I think I'd rather the bull because at least we had some of those back in England. Well, uh, good luck with that. I found a guy gored half to death in the bullpen today. He's lucky he came across him. And this was Emerald, you say? Yep. Right, I'll keep my wits about me then. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you could stick to like, uh, you know, feeding chickens and milking cows. That would, that would definitely be preferable. I'm just, yeah, I'm still... So very new here. It's very different to London, I might say. All right, sir. I'm going to have to go fetch my horse from the stable. But it was very nice meeting you, and uh, I hope rest of your evening's pleasant. And uh, I'll happily respond to any telegrams you're out me, all right? Thank you very much for your time, all of you. A very warm welcome to this fine country. Thank you very much. Bye. Right. Have fun. Take care of yourself. Say, give my regards to the cuddle bear. Was <laughs> a hello looper. So I was really just trying to commit, commit to the RP, um, and try not to um, get too distracted or break it up. But thank, hello looper. Hope you're well. What's well, good? We're meeting some people and having some conversations there. I was worried that I wouldn't run into anyone. So I'm, I'm hoping I can, uh... Because the storm's coming through, so for the server reset. I'm hoping All that, um... Order. I should be able to just get the, the rental wagon out. Um... After that. It's, it's been, um, it should be a funny time, because it is a, it's just a silly British character. Um, interested to see, um, just wanting to, wanting to find work, um, as a train conductor. Um, just to ease in and, um... Oh, I just thought, yeah, I thought, do something casual, um, just to see how I find it. So, yeah, the goal is to hopefully over the next week or two become a train conductor. But we'll see, um, we'll see what happens. Um, but it's, it's, um, I was a little bit nervous at the start, but like once I started running into players that were sort of, you know, have a chat with them and. They're explaining, you know, giving hints as, you know, oh, perfume, you probably have to craft that. And, oh, you could find easier work at the ranch and that. Now I'm feeling a bit more comfortable that I'm like, okay, you must be closer to do that. To the, to that? I'm sure it'll probably, the, I'm assuming the wagon will like disappear with the reset, but I figure I better learn how the, uh, 
how to check in for when I need to do that in the future. Yeah, like, like you know, the, the basic mechanics are the same, but, like, commands and a bunch of other controls are different to Diablo. And so it's like, I'm so used to that that I'm like, oh, how do I do all this basic stuff? Like, I, I'm like, how do I increase the volume of my speech? And how do I access my inventory? I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like a noob. I feel like an absolute noob. So I'm assuming they mean close to the... Oh! I'm running out of time. Ugh. Nope. Where's the... Nope. Nope. Aha! Okay, so you got to be right near the... the wheel symbol, and then you can check it in. Okay. Uh... So the server's resigned a sec, so... Well, at least it said F8? To quit? Well, I'll just... Hang here for a sec. Yes! Uh... And then... That? Yes! <coughs> Old Albert. We send the telegram. Got to send a telegram. Oh. This damn perfume job. I'm going to abandon it. How do I abandon you? Just click it? No? Enter? No? How do I... Oh, no. Uh... Oh! Oh! Uh... What am I doing wrong? Uh... I can't click it anywhere. Hey, hey, uh, Flicker Clad, are you still there? <laughs> ba oh! Backspace. Oh, it just takes me out of it. See, I want to, I want to cancel this job. Because I just, I don't think I'm going to get that done. Um, so I can't click it. Uh, so it's not enter. Uh, it's not E. Um... Uh, what would it be? What would it be? Maybe, or maybe it's just, it'll be there until... Yo, Texan! Uh, ah! It sounded like it was... It sounded like it was going to do something. Like, you heard, like, that paper sound? Like, as if it was, like... Loading? I don't know. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> I don't know how to get that because I don't want to do. I'd, I've given up. I've given up on the the perfume quest. <laughs> given up. I've had enough of it. <laughs> oh, there's my way. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go do the ranch work. What's going on, man? I'm scared. All the buttons are different. Eat the eat the fucking apple. <laughs> Stop pointing. Ah! <laughs> uh, I don't think it did. Let me let me just let me just eat this apple real quick. This is what I do of a the average night underneath the moonlight. I'll just eat an apple. I'll just go stand outside, chow down on an apple. Um. Uh. Oh. Wait. Was that red before? So index. No. 
Like, I can... It was red. Did you see that? It was red. As if, like, I had the... As if I had the, the, the clicker over it. The cursor. Oh, It's alright. It's not the end of the world. I can just ignore it for now. And, like, let's say I pick up another side job. It'll probably override it. So it's not the end of the world. Um, oh. Uh. Uh, oh. It's like, why is it just, Why is it reversing? Now, is the telegram station like Diablo? Yes. It's down at the, uh... Down at the old train station. So we got to get a telegram away to the... To the, the transit authority. So yeah, the goal with this character is to become a train conductor. Is that a player I could hear? I swear I could hear a player yelling something out, but then it could be one of the... You hear the NPCs yelling out all sorts of weird stuff. Could have been that. I'm so glad I actually ran into some players. And and players that wanted to have a... Like, they're actually wanting to, like... Um, have a chat in that. That was nice. That was a good couple of first players to meet. That was lovely. <laughs> Was that a player horse? It's got to be a player horse, right? Uh, where's a good spot to pull up with the wagon? Oh. Do, do. Is that a play? Is that a player? Yeah, I like that horse. Oh, it's just a... Sack! Document folder. Goodness. Oh. Good evening. Not very talkative, eh? You rude... <laughs> yeah, you rude bastard. <laughs> Probably one of them outlaws. <laughs> one of those bastards. Okay. Uh, sent, that's me, Albert Groves. Recipient. Uh, I'm assuming that's their ID. It says PA942. Title. Um, bleh. Train conductor work. Two. To Helena Knight. Oh, yeah. I don't know what mine is. I don't know what mine is. Is that me? Is that me? That's got to be me. That's got to be me, right? Is that me? Cause he's like the deputy earlier, he's like, what's your what's your thing? I'm like, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't bloody well know. So I'm VM eight zero eight. Recipient is PA 
942. Title. Train. Conductor. Work. To Helena. Helena Knight. My name is Albert Groves. I have recently arrived in your lovely country from from London, England. While I have worked with carriages, wagons and such um, back home, my dream was always my dream as long as I can remember has been to um, drive a steam locomotive. I recently spoke spoke to Deputy Sawyer Blake. Um, I recently spoke to Deputy Sawyer Blake who recommended I send a telegram to you um, in case you have any openings for work, for, for training, or work. Look forward to hearing from you. Kind regards, Albert Groves. Maybe I should put it there instead of there. And that makes sense. The reason I've been a lot of countries from London, England. Why? My dream is almost like I've been to drive steam locomotive. Uh, yeah. That. Yeah. Fifty cents. Yeah, right. God, I hope I did that right. Wait, can I check? Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I have to do it this way? Oh, dear. Did I have to do it that way? Oh no, you could put it in manually. Okay. Or you can go... Do it like that. Wait, no? Oh yeah, it's the, it's the same outcome. Okay. Just more convenient. Okay. Alright, let's also add... Sawyer? Blake? EP836. There's a deputy. Should probably... Can I edit that? Oh, you have to delete it. That's right. I'll, I'll remember that for now. Uh, woo, two contacts. Gotta catch them all. Um, okay. Right. A telegram has been sent. Chase down that that sweet sweet train conductor job. It's underway. Happening. So until we got a reply, I imagine I probably won't get a reply until so they're probably they're probably in like a European or American time zone. So I probably won't hear until like sometime when I'm asleep. Um, but then the the plan is is that if I um. As long as nothing comes up, um, I will stream this again on Saturday during the day when all the overseas people are on. So there's a very good chance that I'll receive a telegram by then and then on Saturday can tee up 
maybe meeting them and then maybe maybe starting training to, to drive the trains and stuff which would be awesome just get amongst it that'd be cool so fingers crossed giddy up um Really need to, so I'll check out what work is at the ranch, but I really need to get back to St. Denis and probably deposit some money, eh? Hey? Rolling on the river. Rolling. Rolling. Forever stuck in my head. Rolling on the river. Meow. Oh, there's that sweet pocket money. It's like, oh, there's my tax return. <laughs> oh. This reminds me of, like, Fable and stuff. Like, I just feel like some criminals are going to jump out and be like, well, you got you to gotta pay the toll to use our road. Rolling on the river. I need to. I need to get another traveling song stuck in my head. Oh. Hey, my partner. Look out! Watch out, friend. Do 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 do. Oh, yeah, just tap on the cable. Another camp over there. Camps everywhere. Excuse me. Excuse me, mate. Carnacho. I don't. I don't remember most of the words to that. Well, I say that. It's not like I know. I just keep repeating the same lines of that Credence song. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Uh, where's a good spot to park the wagon? Maybe over here? Do, 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 do. Aha! That might be the cleanest water. Yeah, it seems like a nice spot to park it. Uh, how do I access... The clothes. Still gotta... Still gotta figure this out. I, th I think you set favorites to there. Like it's like... I still gotta... Uh, let me bring up the guidebook. How do I like... Equip and unequip bits of clothing and stuff. Um, where's my... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Down in the middle. Fine morning, partner. Oh, good day, old chap. This this is this is the exact clothing I would pick to um to do farm work in as well. Definitely. All right, see what we've got here. Weight staff, eh? Hmm. Right. Yeah, Emerald Ranch. Uh, is that the only one for Emerald? Yes, it is. $250. dollars $250, dudes. Unable to say. Ah! Yep. Yeah. Alright. How do we. Alright, how do we clear this out? How do I abandon it? Why can't I click it? Flicker clad? Flicker clad, are you there? Hello? <laughs> if there's uh if there happens to be anyone from Wild RP in the chat, wouldn't mind just a cheeky hint how to how do I abandon this? How do I get rid of this? Please. <laughs> Please! Um, maybe I'll search their Discord real quick. Uh, let's search. Let's search for... Abandoned. <laughs> no. Uh... Come on, man, I know how to use Discords, right? General? Abandon. Oh, here we go. Someone asked this earlier in the year. Anyone have issues not being able to cancel a job? It went only click abandon. When I open up the map, I can't. Okay. Uh, has anyone replied to that? Uh, in case you haven't figured this out yet, I don't know until in Reddit itself, you must go to... Oh! Oh, is it a... Oh, it seems it might be a setting. A Red M setting. Thought I already had that on. Bugger! Alright. Uh... Let's quickly do that then. Um, uh, so where do I, what do I do? You go to setting, so open red M, yep. I feel like such a noob. Oh, I've had a bottle of water here the whole time. Whoops. My bad. Uh, so I go settings. Game. Fixed size. Oh no. Wait, what? What? Um, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Hopefully that does it. So I have to uncheck the box. Well, with Diablo, had to tick the box. So it's like around the other way. So I guess they've just 
different, different setups. So now I should be able to click the thing on the map. And this is why, and this is why I decided to do like a trial stream on a weeknight when there's less people on because your yeah, Saturday during the day there's a lot of people on, um, and it is better to be doing the this awkward stuff now when it's quiet rather than on that day like figuring out like why can't I cancel the jobs and stuff. Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Okay. There we go. You will not be able to take a new job for 30 minutes. No! No! <laughs> Thank you, Looper. Oh, look, I've had loads of practice. You learn a lot doing a year of Diablo RP. You learn a hell lot, a hell of a lot. I definitely can't. Maybe, 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 maybe it'll be fine. Nah. Nah, yep. Yeah. Alright, uh... We are... We are killing time until, um... Gotta kill half an hour. I keep clicking, keep clicking I. I keep clicking I. To, um... To bring up the inventory. Do 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 do. Where did you come from? Where did you go? I just want to drive trains. Let's have a look. Look, hey, we've got time to kill. <laughs> we've got 20 something minutes until I can take on a ranch job. Let's uh let's have a gander. Let's have a squiz. It's Do I hear a horse? Oh, it's just an NPC on a wagon. Like player? I was really tempted to go with those with those two people out to tall trees to see the grizzly bears and that, but I was like, like this guy from London and that, I don't know if he would go like jumping, like, you know, be like, oh, let's go do the dangerous thing like straight away. Like he doesn't have a knife. He doesn't have a gun. He doesn't, he's never done anything like that. So I was like, I better, I better stick to the character. Well. Yep. Oh, there's a shop here, though. You buy some stuff. There's no people. Oop. It's a filthy little saloon, isn't it? Filthy, a dusty little corner of the world. Despicable. Well, now we know that, um, you know, if you take some of the side jobs, that you've got to, uh, yeah, so you got to craft perfume. And I don't know how to do that yet. And then if you want to cancel a job, you then got to wait 30 minutes before you can take another one on. So we're learning. We're learning a lot. We're learning so much. Oh, I think it was like somewhere here. Yeah, in here. Wagons. My little dog. Howdy, partner. I want to pat the dog. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. 
Du, 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 du. Where's the wagon station? Oh no. <gasps> Cause I didn't check it in before quit it. You can't just quit. You gotta actually like check them back in. $15. Oof. All right, there's another lesson. Oof. That's fair enough. Right. And I imagine that's the same for horses. So I think that's why Sawyer Blake was like, oh, I gotta get to Strawberry before the storm because he's probably gonna get there, check in his horse. So so when I quit before, I didn't check the, uh, the wagon back into um, the stable. So um, to get it back, I had to pay a $15 fee to reclaim it. So, so you can't just like go off and do stuff and then be like, oh yeah, I'll leave it to the last minute to, to and I'll just jump off. You got to actually like, like say I had, I'd been doing some mining and stuff. Um, I would have lost everything in the wagon. No, well, um, before, before the storm I did, but yeah, just quitting. So whenever you want to like finish your session, um, you got to actually put your, your wagon in that away. Damn. Well, there's another. That's another lesson learnt. Yeah, yeah. Just to because I had to go back to the uh, the red M menu. I had to go back to the red M menu to um, change the UI, uh, UI setting. Well, there's another list that, but that is another lesson learnt. Good to learn it sooner rather than later. My bad. All right, it's only fifteen dollars. It's fine. It's fine. I'll make it back when I can finally do farm work. Uh, so I guess we'll kill some time. So we might. I don't know. We might pop back into. We'll pop back into Valentine just to see if anyone's around. Maybe meet some people, learn some, learn some things. Um, depending on that, maybe, maybe wait it out to then do some ranch work, or maybe swap to some Space Marine 2 multiplayer for the rest of the night. I'll see, we'll see. Would be good to knock over some ranch work though, get some money ready for Saturday. That would be good. Nearly nine o'clock though. I'm just wondering how long will the ranch work take because it's, the payout is two hundred and fifty dollars. So like, how long will that take to do? But I won't know until I try it. Uh, it might be a player. I don't know. I don't know, baby.
was like, what is that? It's a deer. <laughs> what is that? Is that some sort of train dog? Rail dog? They mentioned there's a train schedule. I oh, might take a quick look at that. Just see what... How does that work? Oh, yeah, just stand in the middle of the road. It's all good, mate. Get out of the fucking way! I say, excuse me, sir! Get out of the bloody way! Hey, good with you. Is this another job board? Let's see what jobs they got here. Deliver 10 slow cooked kebabs. Cattle drive to hanging door from Emerald Ranch. Two to four cattlemen needed. $95 per cow per person. Help deliver drive to Poland. Oh. I need hunting staff. Wagon recommended. Transport ice blocks to five destinations ending in Ansberg. But you gotta have a wagon to actually cart that. Deliver 20 bottles of milk and crates to four customers. Oh, yeah, because there was a store where I saw you could buy crates. So then you got to fill the crates with that. So the jobs are quite extensive. Which is, uh... Which is cool. Uh... There's a train schedule around here. So, yeah, Blake Sawyer said that it's like they're always in demand for... More conductors. I'm just like, how... Just wondering, how regular is it? There are... Oh, okay. So it shows you if there's trains running. And then I, I, I was tuning into a... Sir. Oh, what was their name? I was tuning into a... A, a wild RP stream of a... Of a lawman. Uh, another Australian. Um, and I was asking him some questions. And he says, yeah, people really get excited when there's trains running and stuff. So... So that'd be good because it's like two birds with one stone. Like it'd be good for me to, you know, dip my toes and see how I find the server. Then it's also if that's then adds another instance of a train coming through for players that, you know, it's not very common, then that's good for them as well. Let's see if there's anyone around. I can't believe it because we thought, we thought we we was like is that the bell actually ringing? But no, is that it was shooting the bell with a bow and arrow? Not seeing any. Not seeing any pliers. Should have put a timer on. Gracious. I'm trying to think.
Is there anywhere nearby that I want to check out just to see what it's... Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, timber, like lumberjack work. Do love canoeing down the Dakota River. But I don't think this character would do, jump to do be doing that anytime soon. Maybe... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if I've killed 10 minutes yet. I've read any specific rules about that. Um, but it's just like like even on Diablo I was always about like sticking to the roads, you know, walking around town, like little things like that. Um cuz it's just I just, you know, the average person wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do certain things like that. And that's just how I've always approached it. So that was a big reason why I wanted to try this server is because it's like, I feel like it might, like a majority of the player base might feel the same way about certain things like that. Um, Cause it's all about the immersion. Like it's all like doing as much as you can to just keep it authentic as possible. So I, I really respect that. So yeah, I, I like, even on Diablo, I would always avoid, like, riding along the tracks and that as much as I could. Hey! Bosa! Yo, mate! Thank you for the raid, dude. And a resub! 37 months! Oh, dude, you didn't have to do that. Thank you very much, man. Mustache for work? No problem, man. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the resub. Oh, I would love to ask what you're playing in that, but, you know, if you've got to get to work, man, all good. Hope you've been well, my dude. Sals, raid message, I didn't copy. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, Jake. How's everyone doing? What was... Or, or Jake or anyone else from Bosa, what was he playing today? How's Bosa doing? Oh, Splatoon! He hated it. Oh, well, I guess it's not for everyone. It is a, it is a bit different. Some different mechanics. And then he played Smash. Yeah, he's good at Smash Bros. I I haven't played Splatoon since the first game, but even then, I just didn't have time to commit to it. But I really, I really enjoy it. I think Splatoon's a great series. I just don't have the time to play it. Like, I just... I don't play my Switch altogether as much as I should. I just... My PC and my Xbox come first. <coughs> Excuse me. I remember the matches were pretty short. Like, it is, like, it's such a great little game you can just jump in and play, but I just, you know, because I prefer to play it at my at my TV. So it's just, you know, i got to go boot it. Yeah, I just was like, nah. I'll just go sit at the computer for nine hours instead. <laughs> the Splatoon's great. That's it. But, yeah, it's good to give it a go. Splatoon is very cool. How have you been, Jake? You been well? That look, that's a player. Oh. Well, <laughs> oh, they're running everywhere. Is that another player? Who we got here? Uh, 
How much longer? The job's reset! Oh, because they're doing the job here. They t Good evening! Yes, yeah, my first time on the server, Jake. Good evening, sir! Hello? What are you doing? Good evening! Good evening to you too. Working hard, I see? Or hardly working, I suppose. Oh no, don't, don't sell yourself short, sure, Izzy. You've got a good strong back running back and forth like that. Is this the, 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 uh, the general farm chores in these parts? Yeah, these are the, uh, yeah, just the sort of, I mean, you've got a few of the ranches that you can go to, but this is where the, uh, the ranching board is, where all the local ranchers sort of decide to, to put all their jobs up here, asking for help. Oh, I see, see, I, I was directed here by some, uh, lovely ranchers in Valentine before the storm, and, uh, well, I, ah. I mistakenly, uh, well, I was assigned to, uh, find some woody scented perfume and deliver it to a ranch and I did a very good job at failing that and now I've got to I've got to wait until another job is assigned to me mm -hmm. mm, yeah that's the way that it goes you can uh they, they get a little bit uh, snarky the people uh, who uh, put up the job boards they they don't like people with bad reputations you see yes so if if you fail the job they're not really gonna trust you for another job for another like 30 minutes but you know, if you get the job done, and there's no problem. You can do the next job because they think you're reliable. Yes, I've definitely, definitely learnt at least that today, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm very new. I just uh, arrived uh, this week via steamboat from jolly old England, so I'm just learning the ropes, and that is it. Um, you, you seem like a rugged uh, fella that knows what he's doing. Would you have any advice for someone from across the pond? Well, it means I'm uh, from across the pond myself. Oh, really? Uh, from where? From where yeah. do you hail? Uh, Chelsea, London. My goodness, I'm sorry. I uh, must have gotten much too uh, too accustomed to my own little bubble over there. I did not. I did not pick it. My apologies, good sir. No, it's all good. I uh, my parents taught me to to talk proper, so I, I don't really have a thick accent. Oh yes, uh, well. I I grew up quite working class and working in a, in quite poor in London myself. So, um, but I'm but, but I'm over here trying to make a fresh start. Um, I've put in an inquiry to uh, hopefully become a train conductor. So hopefully, hopefully I hear back oh. from that soon. I'm very excited. But uh, you know, as a as a as a fellow Londoner over here, do you have any tips for a fresh one? Yeah. Um most definitely. Uh, I think it's important to, to get yourself established. Um, money isn't everything, to be frank with you. Uh, it's more about who you know rather than what you know, you know? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I'd stick around the towns with more people in. Uh, those towns at the moment would be roads. Valentine is hit or miss depending on the time of the day. And Sunday. Stick around those parts and get your name out there, get people knowing you. Make the connections required, offer your services when you can. That sounds like some solid advice. I'm, I'm hoping that, uh... I'll definitely keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just hoping to get a, a reply to uh, start this training to become a train conductor. Because I'd love to... It's always been a dream of mine. Back in, back in London, I was just, you know... You know, Groves, go get the wagon. Tra you know, move this from here to there. You know, oh, sorry, you're not, you know, you don't have enough experience to drive the steam trains. So I thought, less competition out this way, I think. Most definitely. Um, however, you're not, you're not really going to make the most money driving trains, and you're likely to get rubbed quite a bit. Oh, look, it's, to be honest, you know, I've, I've gotten quite used to, you know, not having a lot of money. All the time. It's really just a childhood dream of mine. See, my, my father and I would ride the train, um, you know, to and from London to, to get where we're going. And it was always just, it was the highlight of my day. And uh, he 
he himself, he always had the dream of maybe managing one of the lines out to out to one mm. of the shires or so. But uh, fortunately, that just he never got that chance. And so it's it's my inner child's dream to drive a train myself and make make the old man proud if he's looking down on me from anywhere. He he was, he can marvel in its glory. Well, I meant to that. Well. Props to you for uh, following in your father's footsteps, I suppose. I just think it's a marvel of the modern era. You know, it's it's people have never been more connected by the the railway they, lines. They people can never have. people can visit loved ones within a day or two now, compared to you know, whatever goodness knows what we did before. <laughs> I know, I, uh, it, it really is a marvel. But if if you do want some advice, I would. For the time being, means that you say that you're new to the Saints Crossing. Uh, I would focus more on having the train as almost a side job, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, something something you do more leisurely than job wise. Right. Well, I definitely want to when when uh, you know maybe when the the news has, has subsided about my failed delivery of the uh, perfume. Um, I was just hoping to pick up the old ranch job here and there, but is there? Uh, any other work you'd recommend? I, I'd recommend working in a parlor house. Oh, I, I've heard there's a, a nice establishment down in Rhodes. Well, I work there. Oh! Oh, wonderful. Well, uh, well yeah, no, I'd love to. I'd be happy to come down and give it a go. Uh, I, I, did, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't introduce myself. Uh, Albert Groves, at your service. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Groves. My name is Butcher. Butcher? Correct. Goodness, what a, Mr. Butcher, pleasure to meet you. That's a bloody strong name. Oh, strong family. I imagine so. Working on the ranch like that. Well, uh, all right, well, yeah, I'll, I'll still uh, keep an ear out for any replies from the, uh, from the train yard. Ooh, and I'll, I'll pop up down this? by road if sometime. You, if you take down my telegram. Yes. Uh, if you take down my telegram, reach out to me. Uh, I mean, you could you could hang around here. How long ago did you do the the job for the cinnamon? Uh, oh goodness, um, I think I've still got about another twenty or so minutes till I can, uh, you know, my, until my reputation is untarnished. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, well, if if you'd like, I'm I'm very happy to show you around here and show you what you got to do so that once you're uh once you're now applicable applicable to to take these jobs you know exactly what to do because some of them can be quite confusing that would be good i know i get i get confused quite often but I, uh your, your telegram number i'll save that for later what was uh what was that uh it's x y one eight zero one eight zero butcher Right, I'll write that out in my notepad there. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. Um, uh, is there a is there a gate? Yeah, there's a there's a gate just up the right of there. Um, I'd probably advise you whilst I'm doing this job to just take off that lovely suit jacket. Usually I'm, oh yes, in much nicer clothing. But whilst I'm here, I don't really like to get my suit dirty. That's a good idea because all I all I currently own is these clothes on my back, so I better. <laughs> I'll just uh, pop pop them on the the wagon here. The, the vest will do the job for now. I, I will just. Uh, I don't want to ruin my pants. I'll just uh, make my way around to the gate. Yeah, there's there's one just up here. Oh oh, that oh, way. There's, there's there's two of them. There's one down. Two. There one so down many choices. <laughs> hey Ariel, it is. My God, it's so smooth. Rhyme is this being on? Right. So the current job I'm doing is. We got all these bulls here with all these cows, and we have to clean up the manure. Oh, right. Yeah. Luckily enough, we don't have to touch it with our hands, so you'll see the manure. Yes. And luckily enough, the, the stable boy, he will point out to you where the manure is. Rather simple. You scoop it up. You walk over to this little trough thing here, and you dump it. You get it out of here. That's uh, it. And with the, with the higher paying jobs, you have to do more. And with the lower paying jobs, you have to do less. So it just depends how much time you want to spend here and how much work you want to do. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Right, so I'll leave this one for now, and I can show you around the other ones. You've got to be careful in here, though, because you get the bulls, and the bulls can get quite round up. You know, it's mating season, so they'll charge you, and they'll hit you from behind. Oh, God. Lucky I'm not wearing any red. You know, I believe that is a common misconception with red and bulls. Really? I think it's just because bulls see red more vividly. And if a bull is aggravated, they're just going to aim for the thing that hits them that they see the, the easiest, you know? Yeah, I suppose in, you know, in the heat of the moment, you can't really think clearly. You just go for whatever's good. Yeah. <laughs> so those are a few jobs I've already completed, so I won't be able to show you them just yet. But another job you'll do is haystacking, which is rather easy. Oh, so dear. Come over here. And you're just going to pick up these haystacks. They're quite light. And they're just a bit of a pain in the ass to carry. It looks heavy, so it's lighter than it than it looks. It's it's definitely lighter than it looks. They're uh, they're not quite as dense as they are big. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, you know, you know, a lot of the work I did back in London was you know just p other people would load up the wagon for me, and I would just move it from point A to B. They didn't really trust me with anything else. <laughs> well, you're a little bit like me. I was a contractor. So. Like with the manure shoveling, the stable boy will point out where he wants you to dump his hay. Oh, so good. Just go over where he wants you, you put the hay down, and that's it. Look, I was about to say, why doesn't the stable boy just do it himself? But then I suppose we wouldn't have a job to do, would we? Exactly, that's why they're paying us. So whenever you do a job, I'm sure as you know, you can always just uh, check your map, and the stable boy, he, uh, he puts uh, on your map the list of chores he wishes you to complete. So That's if you're ever curious how much you've got left or what you've got left to do, they're all there. Well, it's good he's thorough. I respect that. <laughs> Yo, bud! So I took the most expensive job, so I'm getting paid 250 for this. Uh, oh, yes, that's, that's the one I saw advertised earlier. How, how, yeah. long will, how long will this keep you busy, do you think? Um, if you're efficient. 20, 25 minutes. Oh, that's reasonable. Yeah. Right, so now we gotta milk the cows. Most people don't like this one. Personally, I find it quite relaxing. I suppose it's good for the cow as well. Relieve some stress and... I can't imagine what it... Mm. Ugh. You gotta be careful sometimes, because when they get these sort of uh, new stable boys in, you get given a bull and you end up tugging the wrong udder. Oh! <laughs> Make sure get out of there as quick as you can. Uh, yeah, as soon as you can. So when when you sit down here, you basically just grab both of the teats, and right. you squeeze one teat, and then you squeeze the other teat. Is is yeah. what? Uh, should you do both at the same time or just alternate? You 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 alternate, but you're holding both teat at the same time always. Right. So, is there a good rhythm to it? Is your one, two, one, two? Yeah, one, two, one, two. That's really the way you do it. Uh, and then the milk bucket slowly fills up. And then once it's filled, the stable boy will come and grab it and he'll pop it to the side of me, round about where you're standing. Okay, uh, should I... Uh... No, there's no issue. I don't want to get in the way. So then we just... We put the milk... Here, so then we pick up our milk can, which is quite heavy. Bloody hell! This is definitely, it's gonna be a workout for me. I'm probably gonna, hopefully, I'll lose a few pounds. I reckon you would. Maybe I'll, so, maybe I'll just get used to this. I know the dream of being a train conductor will just disappear. I'll be like, become a, a farm no, boy. That's, that's, uh, that's never the idea. You always want to keep uh, sight of your dreams. You know, there's things we have to do to reach our dreams, but the important goal is to reach them in the end. Yeah, so I'd be letting myself down and old, old Papa, if I don't see it through. This is my last chance or else they're... I'd have to go somewhere else like Australia. I don't want to go there. That's where all oh, the God. convicts no, are. No, no, one, no one wants to go there. No, I'll, I'll take my chances so luckily, here. Luckily enough here, uh, the, as you see, all the other fences are quite stable and sound, but the stable boy to help us out, he has moved down one of these slats. So after we get our milk can, we can then slot our milk through here. Oh, it's very thoughtful of him. And then we just up the fence. Oh. Come on, you gotta get used to it. Pardon? 
I'll just more about my pants. Come on, once you be Easy once you finish this, you'll be able to buy new pants. I don't think I heard a tear, so I think we're good. And then you just pump the milk can down here with all the. Yeah, ears. well, that dog's got his eyes on that fresh milk. <laughs> and that's it. It's not for him. It's for the. Where's this milk go? Uh, it goes all across the crossing. It goes down out west. It goes up north. It, everywhere, whoever wants it. You got a, a trusty little saloon just over there. So if you get hungry, you get thirsty. You can purchase your own food. Oh yes, I'm sure I'll run out of apples eventually. <laughs> well, you want to stick to stews. Those are your, those are your best thing. You Did, get the most out of your money. Would they happen to have any beans on toast? You know, unfortunately not. Oh, damn it! What about a? However, oh, however, in Rhodes we do serve fish and chips. <gasps> oh, now you're yes, as a fellow, mm. as a fellow Brit. Now you're speaking my language. Yes, it, it, it is. It is quite a delight. The fish and chips. It's uh, it's it's done really well. All right, I'll take. I'll have to try that. I love a good spot of fish and chips. <laughs> and uh, just over the crest of that hill behind the house, there's yes. uh, there's a uh, almost sort of like a, a station for the trains. Uh, and it's it's a telegram station, so you don't have to ride all the way back to towns and such to to send and look at your telegrams. You you just simply. It's hard to miss. You'll just ride over that hill. Oh, good. Yeah, I've been back and forth telegrams. between here and Valentine all bloody day. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, just trying, oh, just trying to get some something to occupy my time. Are, you, are we sure we're able to leave the milk unattended? There's a couple of cats. They've got their eyes on the milk well, as well. well luckily, luckily enough, it's uh, they're quite durable cans, and they'll uh, they seal up quite well, so the milk doesn't ferment or anything like that. Here's all a, right. Another job here, which I have completed. But you'll go over here, and uh, you'll pick up these farming equipment, as you see here. Yes. And you'll make your way, and the, the stable boy will tell you what plants he wants you to tender. And you simply come up to them, tender them, and that's it. This is the easiest job on the ranch. I, I like the sound of this one more than the others. And then there's two other jobs that I haven't quite shown you yet. Two more?! Two more, but you got to remember this is the most expensive one. So if you pick up like a, a ninety dollar one, you'll be doing a third of all this. Oh, I see. So if you do the ninety dollar one, it'll be like shovel three pieces of manure, milk three cows, ten to one crop. You know. I suppose if you if coming all the way out here, you may as well make the most of it. Yeah, you must. So in here is the chickens. Oh, yes. This is the worst job on the ranch. Oh, why is that? You see that goat there? Yeah, why is it in with the chickens? Well, I, I really don't know. Because, <laughs> well, the goat here, he has a tendency to hit you very hard. And if you're feeding the chickens, because you have to fully feed the chickens, right? And if if you don't fully feed the chickens, and he hits you, you have to start all over again. Is there a way to calm him down, or can you have someone distract him? You can, you can, you have two options. You can either lead him out of the pen, or you can discreetly beat the living shit out of him. Oh, I've never, I can't say I've ever fought a goat before. How do you, how do you, easy. how do you lead him out? Uh, well, you, you can just sort of open up the fence. Yeah. And you see how he runs about where you don't go? Oh, yeah, yes! Go. Get out of here! Get him out. Oh, that was easy! Oh, but a chicken's gotten out as well! It's fine, though, because you see that see that big shack there? That's actually their sort of chicken house. So oh, yes? Every sort of other minute, if chickens run out, the other chickens will run out of there. Oh, I see. Okay. So, it's not, that's right. Right. Uh, so, the, so, it's... Yeah, it can be what a, a naughty goat. chickens. It just means you have to... Does he eat the eggs? I, I'd assume so, but luckily enough, that's not our job to look after. We just gotta feed the fuckers. What a greedy bastard. That he is. Like you're a goat. Go is. live in the goat pen. Leave the chickens be. Right, so you see the, uh, you see the brown looking ones? Yes. They're the bulls. Oh. Right. There's, that's two of them, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 
Oh dear. Usually if they start a ruckus, a good slap on the ass will stop them from... No! Oh, here we go. Look out! See how they'll do a little charge at you, and sometimes they'll get so <laughs> aggravated they'll run out of the pen. Bloody That's hell. Right. Here you are, look at this. My heart nearly burst through my vest! When they're causing a bit of a ruckus, they'll, uh, they'll do all of this. See, look. Oh, God! Give him a slap on the ass. No! Oh. Give him a slap on the ass and they'll leave you alone for a bit. They're really all show, aren't they? Oh, yeah, that's all they're. They're just showing off to their women, that's all. Right. Bloody hell. I'm glad you're here, I'm glad you're here to tell me about the, the goat and the bulls. Yeah, I would not I have thought to, of that. I would... I had, to, I had to learn all this the hard way. Right, so in here, usually, <laughs> there are sheep. Oh. Uh, and the sheep are really easy. You just have to go up there, grab the shearing equipment, go up to them, and you grab them by the front legs, you lift them up, and you just shear off their bellies. Oh, yes. That's easy. And uh, you, uh, if, let's say, you have to shear five sheep, and there's only three sheep in the pen, once you've sheared the three, you just go over to the farm boy and say, you need some fresh sheep. You stop doing the job, you start the job up again, and then you get some new sheep to share. Splendid! And that's it. That's all the jobs on this fine ranch. That's all the jobs. Oh, goodness. But yes, I'm very thankful you're here. Yeah, um, so to do with the goat, the bulls, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, was it the stable boy? The stable boy, yeah. He's got you covered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I feel very confident kicking off with that. Yeah, it's 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 one of those jobs where it's it's finicky to get started with, but once you've done it once or twice, you get the gist of what to do, and it becomes no trouble. Then you'll you'll no, you'll notice as you uh, as you go to other ranches as well, because other ranches will display their jobs up at that board over there. So you have to you have to read the fine print, and it it will say go do chores at. Hillhaven Ranch, which is uh, just down by roads. They're all, they're all not far away. I think the furthest one is just outside of Saint Denis. Uh -huh. um, but you have to read it in case you think you're going to do jobs here and then you have to, you know, travel for about five minutes. But it's all the same premise, you know. You all do the same jobs. Of course, they're in different places and different areas. And sometimes you don't have to worry about goats. Sometimes you don't have to worry about bulls. It's just uh, using this as a as a base example and, and going from there, really. Right. And is there, do you have a preference of which ranch you usually work on? Honestly, no. Uh, you tend to find Emerald Ranch is the highest paying. Uh, it, it's not really you get to pick and choose the ranch. It's just sort of the jobs that go up on the board. And then you always try and do the jobs here first. And then if no one's around, you then will just, if you want to make a bit of extra money, you can go and pick up the other jobs. Yes, I see. All right. Well, yeah, that's a good way to. That'd be a good way to spend my time productively while I wait for a response about the the train position. And then uh, you mentioned, is there a certain uh, day of the week that's best to uh, come visit the Rhodes Parlor? Every day. It's uh, it's open every day. They do an event basically every other day. They do Taco Tuesday. They do... Taco uh, Tuesday? Yeah, they do Taco Tuesday. They do quiz nights. They do uh, a literature night where the literature club comes round and they host a big event. Um, but it's, it's one of those sort of businesses where if you stick around there for five or ten minutes, the odd person will come through and then every other hour you'll get that rush of 30 people being in there dancing and drinking and is this uh, any time of the day or is there a certain mm -hmm. time to go it really can be any time of the day um you tend to find more later uh in the day especially for us later in the day is when it will really start to kick off from about from about eight o'clock onwards it will really really start to kick off Okay. But that's sort of the same with anything in Saints Crossing. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, I'm a bit uh, pressed for time during the week, but I'm considering uh, making a big day of it uh, on this coming Saturday. So I'll definitely, I might actually, uh, before I uh, retire for the evening, well, on the way back to St. Denis, I might pop into Rhodes just to get my bearings, just so I know where to find Ooh, it I, later. I, well, I'm sure. 
I wouldn't mind showing you around if I am still around. Um, and you say you're making a big day of it on Saturday, right? Yes. How do you like the theatre? Oh, well, I, I don't think I never really got along to any of the big shows back in London. But I, you know, it was always fascinating going by and seeing all the the hustle and bustle about it. I've always been curious. How would you like to be a part of a show? Oh, oh, uh, well, I've never acted a day in my life. I don't know how good I would be. It's worth a show, right? They're holding auditions Saturday the 14th. Saturday the 14th? Uh, any particular time? Uh, let me check for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Do you think you have what it takes to get on the stage and act your heart out? The Grand Imperial Theatre is searching for actors for their next huge play. As such, they are hosting an open audition for any and all who are interested. The audition is on the 14th of September at 7pm Eastern at the theatre in Saint-Denis. Those auditioning are expected to dress smartly. For further information, please contact PE928. So, uh, so I should send a telegram in advance? You don't necessarily have to, but uh, if if you have any if you have any queries about it and you want to just ask, feel free to send a telegram. Or if you can't make it to that date specifically, you can send a telegram and ask for a more private audition. Oh no, I think I'll at least pop along, at least have a look, see, and see how I'm feeling on the day. So you said seven p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll. Uh... I'll have a think about it and see if uh, I might actually be free around then. I'm not sure yet. Unfortunately, um, I was uh, I was actually going to be on the panel of judges, but I, I'm quite busy that day. Oh, well, there'll always be next time, right? Yeah, I suppose. I'm uh, I'm for the for the Grand Imperial. I'm uh, I'm the narrator for the stories and oh, the copyright. Oh, you've got a good voice for it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh well. It, it, you know, like I said, it's a, a fresh start in this country, you know. Maybe, you know, it's uh, sometimes you don't get what you, you want, you get what you need. Maybe maybe my, my just dream of becoming a, a train conductor has got more in store for me than originally thought. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah, there'll be something nice to do on the side of work in the theatre. Possibly, well... To, to put it lightly, the, the theatre is going to be for the for the more established people in the county, you know? It's, uh, people people with more change in their pockets, so the actors will be well paid. Oh. <laughs> because each ticket will, will be quite expensive. That would really give me a great start here. And then meet well, some people at the same time. That's exactly what I was I was thinking because you know it'll be good to make establishments. You'll the people in the crowd if you if you get the job will will know you and recognize you and you could then pursue further careers. Uh, yes, because it's it's not like a there'll be a play on every night. It will be sort of a monthly thing or every other week. So you'll get a good sum of money every other week, and you know your name will go out there. You, you know you'll you'll have your credits due to you. People will know who you are, you know, you make connections, you make establishments, and then you know that, you know, every other week I'm going to have a good sum of money put into my pocket and I don't even have to really work for it. Okay, no, you make, you, you plead a strong case. Uh, what, what, uh, what day and time do these theatre productions usually go on for the public? Well, that's the thing. The theatre has been closed for, for many a month now. Uh, the the owners uh, left the, left the Saints Crossing and never returned with any word. So these uh, the couple, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mozo, uh, bought up the theatre and are now host opening auditions for to get their actors and their uh, stagehands and such what to to help them. And then once they have their their assigned cast. They'll, uh, they'll be publishing the dates for these shows. Well, I, it I, seems I picked a bloody good time to come into country. Well, honestly, it's uh, business is booming everywhere right now. Uh, lawful and unlawful side of things. Oh. Well, I met a, I met a, a smashing young deputy earlier, Mr. Uh, Blake Sawyer. He, uh, Sawyer Blake, sorry. Uh, he was tremendous help. 
yeah, he's a he's a good man. Um, you'll earn early not to trust the law. Not to tr they're uh, they're slightly incapable. Oh, oh, oh dear. Don't get me wrong. There is there's nothing wrong with reporting something to the law, but just don't be hell bent on. Don't be hell bent on them sorting it out. If 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 they can't get it done, who can? Uh, people like me. Oh, I see. Oh dear. I'm employed under another company by the name of Samson Security. And uh, we get contracts through. So let's say someone like you, for example, let's say your your beautiful pocket watch gets stolen. Oh, Kevin's now. Exactly. So you would approach this company and you'd be like, my pocket watch was stolen. Here's a description. Um, and they'll turn around to you and be like, okay, it will be $50 to do that. Uh, to find your pocket watch and then they send out a bunch of telegrams to their agents me being one of them and they say there's a current contract out for this item this is the description of them be in touch if you want the contract and then you'll have agents all across the crossing trying to do it and once they find it they'll be getting paid and you'll receive your pocket watch back i see so it's sort of you know it's it's their primary objective to get this done while the while the the deputies it's more you know if it you know if it happens it Ex happens exactly uh. that's, that's exactly the way to put it the 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 deputies and the sheriffs will focus on the bigger things and they don't really care about the people to be frank with you oh. um, like a good friend of mine recently she was unfortunately kidnapped and whilst we were out looking for her have a guess what the law was doing Standing on a porch somewhere? They were slamming down shots in the saloon which she was kidnapped from. What? Did, did they... Was it a coincidence that they were there? Or were they actually... No, they, they, they arrived there under the report of the kidnapping. And then they just got sidetracked. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, that... Please tell me Mr. Sawyer Blake wasn't one of them. I don't really know Mr. Soy Blake uh, personally, per se, but uh, I I only know the old deputy that, that shines above the rest. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, that's... So they never... They just kept sinking one after the other. They, oh, my God! Are you all right, Mr. Butcher? Yep. yep. This wind did. Oh, I didn't even see it coming. I was thinking... I was just uh, was struggling happens. to grasp mm. what you told me. I'll be back. Oh no! Oh God! Oh, look out! It's coming back! <laughs> well, yeah, the goat might want a piece of it as well. Jesus! My God! <sighs> you oh, oh, tripped over the hoof! Oh gosh! You you slayed the beast! Oh God! Steady on, old chap! I got too excited. Man. That's all right. This is the second moment to have a breather. Watch out, the goat! Got his eyes on you! Avengers fought, comrade! <laughs> Would it help him push? Get out of the way, goat! <laughs> I think it's. It might be snagged on the on the bale. <laughs> oh no! There you go. You've got it.
Where are you trying to take it? Oh, it's just, um, <laughs> just the way. The stable just boy's not going to be mad about one of the bulls missing, is he? Uh, ooh, uh, we didn't see anything, right? Oh, I just... There was a, a wolf attack. You know, like a oh, big yeah, badger. Was, uh, yeah, big, big wolf. That was it. <sighs> In all honesty, though, I did see, yeah, I did see that. That bull, he just... We were just having a nice conversation. He just charged on over. That's the way it goes, unfortunately. Oh, is that cow supposed to be out here? The cow will find its way back in. Oh, okay. Very good. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Jeez. Didn't see anything. <laughs> There's that bloody... Oh, watch out for him. Just let him go. <laughs> Get out of here! Let him go. Ooh. Are you alright? You feeling a bit better? Yeah, I feel I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. It's just I uh, <laughs> took the wind out of my sails a little bit, that's all. <laughs> and now you, uh, now I'm sure you can see why I don't wear my nice clothes here. Yes! Just out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, oh dear, that's that, yeah, it's, it's, that excitement really took it to out it. of me. That might be a uh, all the excitement I can bear for one day. Um, just looking at the looking at my pocket watch, I might be might be best if I start getting on. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm sure you've got many things to do. Yes, yeah, just gotta get some affairs in order. But I've definitely I've taken note of uh, the open theater auditions. Um, I will definitely see him free for that. Thank you very much for the recommendation. I would definitely like to try out for that. Of course. Um, remember, you're not you're not limited to one job, unless, of course, the employer wants you to say. Once, once the employer says you can't have any other jobs, like like me, and I've got quite a few jobs going. And I'll keep that in mind if I run into any trouble to a to a Samson Security, you say? Samson Security, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, you have. You don't necessarily even have to reach out to them. You can just contact me personally if you want it done more efficiently. Yes, I've got your I've got your number written down as well. Well, then, thank you very much for your time today, Mr. Butcher. I really appreciate. I've I've learning so much. Good, that's important. Like I said, you know, you meet people like myself, and you get educated and you get informed of certain things. That's very good. No, I've, I've, it's a it's seeming more and more like a good idea that I've moved over here from England. It's, it's I'm, I'm feeling very, very good about the future. Good. Well, I'm glad you are, and I'm glad I got to meet you so early on. Oh, well, we'll see how the auditions go. You might, you <laughs> might see my, uh, my name amongst the lights or whatever the expression Just, is. Uh, yeah, don't forget, don't forget me when you become famous, huh? No, oh, of course, no, don't you worry. Humble beginnings. Got to, you got to stay grounded. Still just wanted I, to that. I, I won't be completely happy until I'm behind the behind the controls of a steam locomotive. Like I said, it, it could be that you you work at the bar in the roads and then every so often uh, you go into the theatre to perform and then on your days off where you don't wish to serve drinks you, you drive around the locomotives. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good life to me. <laughs> Each of their own, I suppose. <laughs> well, well, Mr. Butcher, good luck with the rest of your chores today. Hopefully there's no more bulls, and uh, I'll be seeing yeah. you. Hopefully I will be seeing you. Make sure when you send me the telegram, uh, you make sure to put your own telegram in the sender part. In the sender part. Will do. So then, because if you just send me a telegram, the, the telegram man, he actually doesn't let me know who sent it, so you have to put it in there yourself. Oh right. Now do in the in the sender section, do I put my name as well? You can or? Put, it it really doesn't you can put the 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 death card if if you really wish. Um you know, it, it doesn't matter. You can put your name and then your telegram alongside it. You don't really have to put anything in the sender part, you can just put your name and the telegram <laughs> at the very bottom of the telegram if you wish. As long as it's somewhere, so you've got an, a record. As, as long as it's somewhere, so I can I can look at it and go, oh, it's him. Okay. And uh, then I can put your information into my own Telegram book. Makes sense. Excellent. 
All right, well, I'd better pop on down back to St. Denis. But uh, thank you again, Mr. Butcher. And I'll, of course. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Look out for the vampires. <laughs> the what? There's a few vampires lurking around in St. Denis. Oh, that's just an old wives' tale, surely. No, I know the person that got kidnapped. Right. I'll, uh... Keep, an eye, keep my keep my eyes open in the back of my head. Yep, stay indoors at night. Okay. Oh, oh, oh cheerio! <laughs> cheerio, travel safely. What? A vampire in Saint Denis. Lord Lionheart Valdemar. <laughs> Can it be? <laughs> Vampires? <laughs> what? It's just like, like, oh, I'll see you next time. Hey, keep it. Look out for the vampires. What? Ex excuse me? And he actually knows someone that got kidnapped by one. What? That's wild. My goodness. I'm so glad I stopped by the, um, the ranch. What a great character. What a great player. Butcher. Good stuff. Met some great, met some great players tonight. Sawyer Blake and Butcher. Amazing. What a great couple of characters to meet on the first session. Ryan Ariel? Just, like, I haven't come across a lot of players tonight. But the ones I have come across, like, all of them have just had that... They've had that, that spark to them, you know? Like, especially, yeah, Sawyer Blake and Butcher there. And then even the two people on the horse in Valentine... They were... They were really funny. Good stuff. No, that's a, that's a really good... That's a really good um, start. But uh, you asked before, Ariel, how... Um, how's finding it so far? Yeah, I've... Um, <laughs> like, once I started running into players um, that were wanting to stop and chat, it's been really good. Because, um, yeah, they've, they've been teaching me the mechanics and stuff that's different to Diablo. Um, yeah, and that's, like, that's why... So, yeah, I've got the... I've sent a telegram to inquire about starting, you know, to be, hopefully become a train conductor. And I've learnt this theatre auditions on Saturday, and that's when I was wanting to play anyway. Like, that is such a, like, uh, stars aligning kind of moment. That's it. And for this sort of character with this voice, inspired by Matt Berry... That the timing could not be better. That's that is actually scary how good the timing is. So I'm gonna. So what do you say? 7 p.m. Eastern. So what? What would that be? Eastern American time. So I'll check when that is for Australia. Um, and if I can make it work, I will. I will do that. I will definitely go along and do this open audition. Um, that's exciting. That'd be so good for this character, like doing like theater productions. Driving trains. Um, that's such a good, like, foundation to do other stuff. That's awesome. That's very exciting. <laughs> that's very exciting. Wow. And, th and the fact that he's like, oh, it's been months since any... Whoa! It, like, it's been months since any theatre things happened. Like, the timing. That is... That is, because I've been putting this off for weeks. It's like, I was like, nah, because I was like, I wanted to make sure I was waiting until like, I've definitely, you know, had a break. Um, and I've definitely, like, I was waiting until I definitely had that, like, you know, yeah, I really want to try it again. I've been really waiting to have that feeling. Like, the time, that's, the timing is actually scary. Thank you for the lurk, Looper. Appreciate it. That's wild. Very interesting. Very interesting. I wonder, what the, I wonder if it's going to be like, is the theatre production going to be like uh, Shakespeare or, or another well-known piece? Or is it going to be an original script by a player? I'm very intrigued. <laughs> that would be so wild if, if my character gets um gets like a, a 
a roll in the theater? That'd <laughs> be wild, dude. That'd be like, imagine like a major roll, like whoopsie daisy. That's ins that'd be insane. I think he's got a good chance, like with the voice. My God. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, cause he's never acted or anything. I'm gonna have to role play that he's a bad actor. I'm gonna have to be mindful of that. Like I'm gonna be like, just deliver all the lines wrong. <laughs> To be or not to be, that is the question. Yes, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of misfortune. I just butcher, like just do everything over the top. And yeah, all these yeah, all these dumb inflections. Like what? <laughs> My kingdom for a horse. <laughs> to be, <laughs> to be, or not, uh, line. <laughs> oh, whether it is not, oh, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer. <laughs> My kingdom for a uh, line horse. My kingdom for a horse. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Oh dear! <laughs> oh shit! That's funny. All right, we'll drop the wagon off. Well, look, I didn't make any money doing any jobs, but we're very lucky that uh, Deputy Sawyer Blake um, gave me some money. So at least I, you know, it hasn't been for naught. So that's good. What do you, what do you, what's your first impression of seeing this session, Ariel? Does it make you want to give up here another go? Do you want to be in the theater? <laughs> uh, in the theater? To be an, to be an actor. Well, look, yeah, look. I'm, I'm impressed. Just here? Like, it's the little things like that. I'm like, okay. You have my attention. You must be close to do that. How close do you need me? All right, closer. But yeah, I will, um, I will, unless something comes up, I will stream this again on Saturday, probably during the day. Um, just to s and we'll see how that goes. Cl what? Huh? Horse parallel parking was important in the 19th century. What am I doing wrong? Okay, okay, you had to have like the, the node close to the uh the thing. I get ya. Yum yum yum. It's uh, it's another apple for dinner. Yummy. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Nutritious, succulent apple. And I suppose we should go to the bank. Do 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 do. Oh, mm, delicious, splendid apple. Yummy. Well, what's a, what's one more apple? Huh? One more apple for dinner. Oh. 
Oh dear. Is that one of those vampires? I, yeah, I was like, when I saw the helmet, I'm like, I don't think I want to talk to that person. Um, I would like to get back to the bank safely. Um, I think. Beware the pale horse. Do 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 Splendid! Simply marvelous. Alright, so let's see. While I'm walking back to um while I'm walking to the bank, let's look up um uh time converter. There's this great website I use because I am too dumb to convert it in my head. Uh, let's go, so, uh, we'll go Sydney. I wrote STD instead of SYD. Oh dear. Uh, so it's, oh no, I need to write, so Eastern. Eastern, Eastern time. Uh, and that, what, what do you say? Uh, so Saturday. Saturday at, um... 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So, the Saturday, 7 p.m. That is... Sunday at 9 a.m. Shit. I'm, maybe I can do... A little bit... Maybe I can do a little bit Sunday morning. I am going to the zoo with some friends on Sunday. But that might not be until midday. So maybe I can fit in going to do a very quick audition in game before that. That's, oh dear, the time conversion. That's frustrating. Mmm. 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 Do we have time to buy garlic? I can't believe that. Vampires in this? I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Oh dear. And you hear that about the law, the law department where a bunch of them went to investigate where someone got kidnapped and then they just were drinking shots. That's not good. That's concerning. That's not good at all. That's very concerning. Well, um, is there like an etiquette for where you, you log out on this server? Like with Valdemar in St. Denis, I'd always go to like, um, uh, did, oh, did I? Where do, where do I usually go? But even as George, I would try and, like, clock off either in the sheriff's department or, um, in, like, a hotel room. So maybe I'll do the same sort of thing here. Just in case. Not that I've really looked around here, but gotta gotta wrap up. Uh. 
Hello? <laughs> bar- oh, that's right, it's the bath. Is there room? Look, that'll do. Alright. Cool, man. 